Welcome to the Sakanik! <laughs> Jesus, fuck, man. Oh, my God. Okay, everyone suck on three. One, two, three. Come on, guys. This is like the most unenthusiastic pasta party I've ever seen. I'm just That's really, what I'm talking about. I'm really just, full. Just slobber those angel hairs oh, down. I'm all sucked out, Charlie. I just can't suck no more. What? We've, you know, we've been on your compound for a while. We've he been said doing he's so all sucked off, the, Charlie. It's called the slump. We've been pound. on the slump pound for so long. We've been doing so much sucking. I just don't know if I can do it anymore. <laughs> oh, I know what the problem is. <laughs> You're hungry. No. No. For uh, slime. I'm full. I'm full. You're I'm full. hungry I'm full, for man. slime. I'm, full. I'm, so full. I'm so Come full. here. I'm going to slime no, you. Please don't. Please don't. No, get away from me. Get away from me. No, you don't have to do this. No. Oh, God. It, is, it comes from inside me. Basically, no. Oh. Do you feel better now? I'm ready. Good boy. <laughs> what, did he, what did he do to you? Oh. What are you talking about? Someone else hungry? No. Come here, baby bird. <laughs> you you can, should stop resisting. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I love the slime pound. That's right, my little slimer. Now we just got to find Grizz. Come on. He's over there. <laughs> oh, guys. It's slime time. <laughs> <laughs> the Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Shit. Well, that was great, guys. <laughs> That's where we're on the session for today. <laughs> How many if streams that, do we get? If something that chaotic and loud happens, there's no way I'm live mixing it. That's okay, I think. Maybe you're, yeah, you're, it you're on your own. And it's very it's very possible. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I'll excited. just keep you all very uh, low. I believe in our audio editors. No, if it, 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 if that, it peaks, the intro peaked like a million that. times. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I am your main, I am your big sucker. Had no plan going into that wow. sentence. I was just like, oh man, we haven't introduced yourselves, but we, how do we do that? Because it's a new campaign. Oh, I know. Let's just introduce ourselves as the little suckers and the big sucker. Your bodacious blood guy. Oh my God, I like that. Yeah. I am the yeah. scrum diddly umptious squelchy sucker. Charlie Slimesicle here on the Slum Pound with my three best boy pals ready to suck and slurp and swivel mm. and. Let's suck it up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right then. Wow. I mean, okay. if everyone's feeling pretty good about that, Hi. then I think we can pretty much get right into it. Okay, Charlie, that sounds okay, perfect. Okay, yes, Charlie. Bring us in here. Sorry, do you have something in your throat? Let me help you clear it out. <laughs> <sighs> just a little physical bit for you guys at home. Yeah, we're actually chasing each other around I actually just chased him around and killed him. Hope you liked the visuals for that one. That was yeah. good. Last time we sucked. You three came face to face with a potential masquerade breach in the form of a measles shitty father, Jeffrey. Arthur quickly restrained him with shadows before educating a measle on most of the important vampire laws. And Shiloh used his power to seemingly wipe the night's events away from Jeffrey's mind. I just ran down the stairs to get here after having a lozenge, so I'm like talking, and I realized I never actually breathed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We're about to pass out. I know, right? This ends. The three then nabbed a Honda Civic from the auto shop, looking to find a vampire den in LA. Honda Arthur, City. using his experience and intuition, was able to zero in on Club Crepuscule in the red light district. After debating how to get inside, Shiloh ended up mesmerizing a bouncer, an action that resulted in immediate chaos, a call to the police, and jail time for the unfortunate prince. Using Arthur's senses and a measles skills at the wheel, the other two successfully tailed the cop car carrying Shiloh until a measle decided to gamble and take a shortcut to the police station he thought the cops were going to, to try and cut them off. <laughs> Unfortunately, he and Arthur ended up on the other side of town. Meanwhile, in jail, Shiloh, 
met, hopefully I never have to say that again. Um, Shiloh met Amizel's best friend, Soda, where he immediately mentally fractured him, removing his ability to enjoy carbonated drinks forever. <laughs> In little time, Vampire Sheriff Deacon Keller appeared to bail you out, but instead of returning you to your new friends, took you away and dumped the responsibility of Amizel's sirehood on Arthur. Before he left, he repaid Arthur's work so far with a Ticket to Elysium, a seemingly important congregation of vampires taking place at Club Crepuscule, saying he'd see you again there. And that is where we are now, suckers. <laughs> Breaking <sighs> news. Cool. So let's start by just resolving some little things. Okay. Because the sun, it do be coming up. Uh-oh. And that shit is bright. So first, let's follow... Arthur, and let's follow Amizel. You guys are driving away. I, so here's the thing. Where are you going? Before we like drive, drive away, we get in the car. I give the little notepad. Usually that's the yeah. Excuse me, <laughs> storyteller? <laughs> no, 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 go, go. You're killing my vibe. I'm sorry. Go. So we get into the car. I give him my little story, or not my storyteller. I give him my little notebook that has uh, the address of the B&B on it. And <clears throat> I say, you're going to take us here. Yeah, uh, sure. But make sure that we are not followed. Uh, I press a, I press a button on the Honda Civi and I say, Siri, take us to this address, whatever it In says. In the Honda Civic? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Surely it has pushed a Siri. In a Honda Civic? Yeah, in a Civi? No, it doesn't have a little screen or anything. You can push uh. the emergency lights if you want. Yeah, I turn on the emergency lights. Okay, and sick. Go yeah, they start flashing. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, I pull up my phone. I and think there's a little I, button I, you can call like the auto people with. You yeah, know I pull up my phone and like put on Google Maps. Sweet. And uh, drive there. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And I'm distracted the entire time looking at the map. <laughs> okay, for, yeah, you're, you're like holding it up in front just of like, the window. It's just like, huh? Yeah. Looks so different than the street. Um, no, I, I instruct. I basically am trying to instruct you to like take multiple. Um, Turns out of the way just to make sure we're not being Amizel, followed. are you trying? Act, are you actually trying not to be followed? And I'm going to listen with my heightened yeah. hearing okay. and like smell and stuff like that to make sure that no familiar senses that have already followed us before are coming along and no like cars are following us. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, will they follow us through car? Give me a. 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 Uh, you give me Dex plus drive. You give me wits plus alertness. Even the fastest vampire is unlikely to keep up with the vehicle. Is, is that true? right, Storyteller? I guess you'll find out. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Just someone's fucking sprinting after you. And if he did, on foot, we would notice. Okay. I, I like uh, that the implication here is vampires can't drive cars. <laughs> but no, he's asking, are they going to follow us on car? And I was like, well, <laughs> well otherwise. Yeah. 7761, so two. Six successes. You do see that there's a car that looks like it's following you for a bit longer than it should as you're taking all of these back roads. But a measle, you managed to catch a few corners in a row. And as far as you can tell, you you lost it. Then we head to the BMB. Okay. Yeah, I go straight to the BMB at that point. Cool. Yeah. Um, we, we do a little jump over a roundabout, you know, a little island in like the center. We like go straight to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see one, one wanted That's how we get away. One wanted star appears. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go stay in a parking garage for three seconds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys take these roads, get out of sort of the heart of the city, and you get to the BNB, which is kind of just on a side street. Where would Magnus get, where would you want a BNB as Arthur? Where would he get you one? If Magnus knows more about the clans in the city or the layout, then he would probably set me up somewhere safe. Yeah. Ish. Okay. The safest place area in the city that like it, if I needed to contact, I could. Yeah, he doesn't know that. So what like what um but what does he know is your vibe? That's what I'm really asking. Instead of like where the clans are, where is like what would Arthur think is cool? Like where in LA? Like a, like an apartment on like a like the top floor in like Chinatown or something? Okay. Somewhere with like red lights, sure. or lanterns in the streets, just okay. like very dark, but not too dark. Like yeah, moody. you're still, but you're still kind of in it in Chinatown. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Sure. Sweet. All right. You guys take a couple loops around, end up probably a little closer to Club Crepuscule than you'd like. It's got parking. It's got sort of a little, a little tiny thing you can drive in on and just leave your car there. And you guys can head on into the B and B, kind of put in. Is there a garage? Is there like a garage or? 
No, it's a shitty okay, like. Okay, we park it's up. Like, we park up the street a little bit. Yeah. Oh no, it's like it's like a thing where they have like a sort of street space in front of the house, but there's okay. no garage door. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we still park up the street. Then I okay. want to be in front of the house. Oh, yeah. inter- okay, that's very smart. Very good. I yeah. um, I continue to search like even behind the most minuscule things like bushes, trash cans, like everywhere we go. I'm always looking to make sure that there's nobody. Either watching us or following us. Yeah, look, okay, so you start looking. In I'm always. I'm, I'm, no, I'm looking to make sure that there's no enemies nearby. Is there anyone in this bush? <laughs> um, Is there I'm, anyone in this I'm gonna bush? keep. I'm gonna keep rolling on your previous roll. How many successes did you get on that puppy? Six. Again? Six. God damn. All right. Let me see if you notice something real quick. Then. Would they even? I mean, follow us. It's almost daytime. You do notice something that you didn't notice before, as you see a void kind of looks up at you. And then looks up at something else, and you see that that little gray cat with the yellow eyes, just kind of watching. Where? You guys are walking into this B&B. Like if I tell him he's gonna go grab that cat, can he do it? One second. Would I? If I was like, I recognize that cat. Would that make sense? I don't think you've seen him. Oh, what? Because like this is the cat basically staking me out my entire life, right? Oh, surely I've seen it you've at probably, least once. You've probably seen it at least once. Oh, yeah. I don't think you've seen it since we started playing. Though. Yeah, not since we started um, playing. Yes, but yeah, you would have seen it. Yeah, so you would see it. I would say it's, you know what? It's just like on top of a car, um, huh. just like across the street, just kind of watching you guys, like kind of laying down. If I can, yep. I want to use uh, with with um, fucking void on my shoulder. Okay. I want to approach the kitty slowly. Okay. Stealthily, even unless it's looking right at me, no point. But it's I'm looking, it's it. looking at a measle. I'm gonna go to pick it up. Okay. You go to try and pick it up, and if it's aggressive, I'll pick it up aggressively. Okay. Yeah. It by does. the like you know little neck um, part. It takes it takes note of you as you come up to it, and just kind of looks at you, tilts its head a little. You go to pick it up. You like kind of put your hand on its stomach and try to pick it up, and it just like you try and just gently pick it up, and it doesn't move. And then you try harder, and it still just doesn't sort of move. And then you're like yanking on the bottom of this cat and this cat looks completely unbothered <laughs> by you yanking on it. Just chilling there. Hey, Brood, what are you doing? Hmm. Oh, what this the cat hell, Pepper? Diet. What are you doing here? Yep. This is like the shop cat. This cat's been following us since I found you at the tire shop. Uh, yeah, she probably just follows me around. I mean, she's always around the shop. Does this cat come off as a vampire cat? How would you check? You said that uh, Void and the horse that Deacon rode recognize each other as kin. Is it the same? Um, seems a little different this time. You don't know how. You could try to read its aura. You could try and tell if it's breathing. Any stuff like that. <clears throat> I'll read the cat's aura. Go for it. Five successes. So give me the color and the shade for sure. Okay. And it's like strength and whatnot. <clears throat> yeah, you can tell. Um, and I'll get the book. Right. It's not pale like vampires would be. It is sort of flickering this I'd say it's kind of it's sort of moving between light blue and vermilion and you can tell that this aura though as it sort of changes between these colors it sparkles like there's kind of these these sparkles within it almost like glitter so I get yeah so I get the shade the main color color patterns color shifts any subtle shifts and mixtures of colors and patterns um yeah I mean as so you anything, as you really. okay yeah That's the highest extent. as you go to pick it up it definitely shifts shifts over to more of a light green, which you know is distrustful. And then it kind of looks back over at a measle, looks back at you, and starts to jump down the car and kind of walk off. Good. You said it was sparkling? Yep. Fucking magic cat. It walks off, we walk into the b and Okay. If I don't notice anything else. But with that, as soon as you walk into the b and I'm going to roll on your perception stuff before, which was really, really good. You do hear it, like, hop up onto a ledge kind of nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like it really fully left yeah. you. Hey, the name's a measle. Mr. Storyteller, mm-hmm. is Magnus's number left on a note in this b and somewhere? Let me tell you in a second. You walk up the stairs of this building, kind of check in through the slim door on the street. Make your way all the way up, open it up. It's pretty small, you know, just a couple of rooms, one bed, pretty squeezed together. But there is a table by like this kind of smaller couch that has a little piece of paper on it. I checked the piece of paper. Cool. Yeah. So you pick up a piece of paper. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Shit, now I got to write them something. (laughs) Yes! Now I got to actually write it. Now you got to actually, you have a pencil? 
Yeah, I gotta press. Okay. That way I can read it and not tell him Measle if I don't want to. Jesus Christ. You piece of shit. <laughs> Measle's just like in the corner shadow boxing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's the note. Yay. Um, it references something. That something is on the back. And for you listeners, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> The pho- there's a phone next to the note you take a note of. It's a flip. It's a flip phone. The phone has the numbers on it. Already has something on it. I can fucking figure that out. I'm going to go into the bedroom and shut the door and say, you just stay here. I uh, I peek back out of the door before I call. Yeah. I say, the sun may come up soon. You can take the comforters off the couch. Put yourself underneath them like a couch coffin. <laughs> I'm just going to go uh, right. I walk into a closet. <laughs> yeah. Don't fall asleep yet. I'll be with you shortly. Okay, so here's what we should do. Yep. I'm gonna call. Okay. You got your phone? I got my phone. I'm gonna mute your mic. <laughs> and it's gonna come through mine. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah, we could try. You can always ADI you have to have wi- You have to have Wi-Fi calling on. I do. Okay, give it a shot. Measle, you hear a knock at the door. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? It is literally 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Lord wakes up early. <laughs> and so does the compire. Come here. Wait, who are you? Would you like to talk about the... You can always count on the compire. <laughs> the compire is going to die, bro. He just fed in someone's territory. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm getting a call. What the fuck? It's 3 a.m. <laughs> Magnus. Who is this? It's me. It's Arthur. Yeah, okay. The figures. Did you get it okay? Magnus, about tomorrow night. Yeah. You got my note, I take it? How'd you figure out how to use a phone? It had the numbers on it. I could figure it out. You still had to manage to turn it on and then hit the green call button. I'm proud of you, pal. I'm going to roll to listen. Go ahead and give me perception plus alertness. Yeah. It's five, Len. Two zeros. How many over seven did you get? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. You can hear this. Cool. So I say, does the plan you wrote about have anything to do with a club crepuscule? Oh, shit. Are they onto it? I do not think so. Okay, well, here's what I know. Because the orders came in real late. We're hitting it. We're hitting it hard. Apparently there's... Apparently there's something going down. How many of my kind are already in your ranks? LA's tough. We got people coming from all over for this job, but I don't think there's too many kindred. I tried, Magnus. I tried to play that game. It's only been one night. How bad could things have gone? <laughs> How bad could things have gone, Arthur? You know my luck, Magnus. Things went real bad, didn't they, Arthur? How bad did things go? Tomorrow, I need you to let the Slayers know. I will be there with a blonde boy. And our goal is to... Nab. (laughs) (laughs) One that looks just like him. Okay. I know it's confusing. All right, you're there with a blonde boy. You're trying to nab another blonde boy. These blonde boys are don't, they... don't make it sound that way. I don't appreciate it. You said it that way, man. It's so early and you're calling me about nabbing boys. Um, are they... Are they like you? I think they're different. Are they kindred? Mostly. Well, I don't know what the fuck that means, but... If you care about these boys, you should keep them out of there. Because it's going to get messy. And I'm not going to be able to control how messy it gets. No, Magnus... I called you because I had already planned to wreak havoc. <laughs> oh shit, nice. Okay, um... I just need you to tell them that those two boys, I'm planning on taking responsibility for them for the time being. So if they can avoid it, don't make them a target. And one more thing, Magnus. What's that? Keep an eye on anyone at this club who seems to take advantage of the chaos. We might be able to use more of my kind. Arthur, it's can't tell you the details really over the phone not even on this you never know who might be listening but i'm aware i'll i'll vouch for you i can't promise the other guys listen the plan doesn't discriminate right now 
So I can do my best, but as an ask from a friend, when things seem like they're gonna go to shit, if you really have to be in this place, get out. I would where I can, or, and then... I mean, also, what we could totally do is not all the guys here in the squad are totally keen on even the kindred that help us. But... I might have a spare uniform. What is if you wanted to, If you wanted to be on this side of when things go down. Can you take advantage of the day and hide it somewhere for me? Can Just do. in case. Can do. I'll leave it somewhere mysterious, but I'm sure your cool senses can find it. You know, I came here looking for someone. But for now, I think I have found someone else more worth the effort. Makes me really happy to hear that, man. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what, Magnus? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, what's up? Has there been any... Has there been any more progress on fixing my relationship with the sun? Mm. No. Sorry. Man, I, uh... She's a, she's a fickle mistress. I guess you could say. Keep an eye out for a magical cat tomorrow. What? <laughs> was it a grey cat? <laughs> yeah, it was grey. Yellow eyes. The queen is up to something. She always is, right? That is all. Good night, Magnus. Good night. If that's what you guys say to each other, too. Good day? Good day, Arthur. I don't talk to anyone else, Magnus. Okay. Hey, just... Promise me you'll stay safe out there when you wake up. I just hang out. Do you have your acute hearing right now? I have all my senses still heightened. I have not turned them okay, off. Okay, you will probably hear me walking away from the door. <laughs> Actually, it opens immediately. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How long until the day rises? You guys don't have too long. It's like an hour. Listen well. Yeah. I heard you want to cause havoc. At a club. Crepuscule. Speak my language in there. <laughs> you know, I've been kind of waiting to kind of do some like a little bit of fucking shit up. You know, he keeps like punching and kicking, bear boxing. Just staring silently for a minute at him. Like, straight up, this is yeah. just silence, staring at you, like, intently. Very blank, but, like, yeah. moody expression. So who was that, like, a human? All right. You say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's be very clear. I refuse to be responsible for anyone else. I don't expect you to. He kind of is still like kicking and punching. He's doing like a little training. He's very fast. Very fast punches and kicks. Just because Deacon there uh, threw me at you doesn't mean I actually want, you know, you to take responsibility for me. I'm fully capable. Just not sure how things work too much. <laughs> but I'm getting the vibe. All I mean, if you put yourself in a position where you're going to die, do not expect me to save you. Uh, don't worry. I don't die. <laughs> if you're going to continue to follow me around and be in my company, you should know I am not a vampire to learn from if you want to make friends with other vampires. Great news. I don't want to make any friends. So? If you are with me, you will only make more enemies. Cool. Listen. All I want right now is to figure out how the hell these things work and then to start climbing. I'm not going to be anybody's lap dog. And if fucking up this club is what we had to do to do that, then hell the fuck yeah, let's do it. We will not be doing anything of the sort. No. Oh, fucking William. And if you continue to shout your ambitions in the open like this, I mean, I'm, I'm talking at a very regular room volume inside our B&B. So. <laughs> I like point at the silver can in the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like you just look over and it's there on the windowsill. Just Pepper. She follows me everywhere. <laughs> that cat is not even a real cat. What? I mean, sure, like she's been alive almost 20 years. <laughs> But like, <laughs> never has looked different. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's aged today, but like, that's kind of just inconsiderate to say to the cat. You're being spied on. She's precious. Uh, 
Yeah, by who? Vampires again? Like more, more of these fucking deacon guys? No. Then I look at the cat directly. Okay. Likely by your mother. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Nobody could love my dad. Does a cat react? Cats being a cat. Cats being a cat. Cats being a cat. What's it called again? When you are like the uh, person who made the person a vampire? Sire. Sire. Okay. Sire. I have progeny. I just need to like remember these words. It's all good. Magnus said kindred as well. Kindred's been dropped a couple times instead of vampire. Yeah. Well, I don't know for sure your relation to the queen, but you are clearly related to that other boy who is a prince of the queen. A false son of sorts. What? (laughs) (laughs) Listen, I mean... Firstly, do I look... Look at me and like... I I, I use... I grab his phone. I pull a picture of a sickly Victorian child. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Give me an intelligence plus computer roll. (laughs) Give me an intelligence plus computer roll right now. Two dice? Two dice. Let's see it. Nothing. I actually botched it. You botched it? <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> Arthur, are you gonna hang up or should I? Did something happen? <laughs> Arthur! <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. Magnus, baby, come back to bed. What? <laughs> 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 oh, uh, apologies, One Magnus. Second, Jerome. And Jerome? <laughs> Who is that? So should I? It's no one. It's no one. Go back to bed, honey. <laughs> We're having a talk about this at brunch. Just a friend. Anyways, um, I've been around for a long time, so you can trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, listen, I mean, I've been a single child my entire life, and also motherless. So, you know, uh, excuse me if I'm a little, if it's a little hard to believe that me and again, sickly Victorian child are uh related hey arthur who's that i think you put me on speaker <laughs> <laughs> i hung up already I just, sorry <laughs> not, not, you, not you hung up <laughs> I, I close the phone i literally throw it out the window okay yeah yeah you go to semi close the phone toss it out the window shatters through the fucking thing uh, i open the window the I, I fucking shatter it and then i close the window he's not even from la like he's from some <laughs> european country look if i knew the details i'd tell you okay but i like what you're saying it gives you like a little grin. Tomorrow our focus, no matter what happens, is to find the other boy. Okay. Leave the club. Figure out what to do after. And um depending on how likely chaotic it gets. Yeah. It sounds like it's gonna be chaotic. Don't miss any opportunities. <laughs> I won't. Your sire might be there. Deacon will be there, but my focus will be on the prince. So in the morning, we should go get... <laughs> Let's change character. Let's go get breakfast in the morning, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Maybe some pancakes. We'll have to find you new clothes. <laughs> I mean, so you flash back to trying to eat pancakes after you had this transformation. Like, literally just launching yourself around the garage, practically, with throwing up your own blood. I'll have to find you better clothes so you don't stick out. Might even be worth it to dress you just like the prince. Uh. We'll have that option on hand. Either way, before we arrive, we should be fed. Well fed. I can teach you how to do it safely if you, um... How do you typically do it? I mean, I've done it a few times, obviously. Usually involves beating the fuck out of the other person until they can't fight back and just, you know... Preferably, whichever way leaves the human alive. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Or not. Really depends on who it is. Vampires. Humans. Ghouls. Werewolves. We may be higher on the food chain now, but we're all monsters. Wait, there are werewolves? I go crawl under the mattress and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how are you how are you guys sleeping? You're going under a mattress, you said? Yeah, or I'll hang upside down in the closet like a vampire would. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> you no, know, you just don't need to do Yeah, you absolutely do. What do you do, Amizel? I don't know, what kind of like I call him the drying machine. I give you an, I give you a tip. 
I put, I put, I put. Yeah, you curl up. Curl I turn up on tumble charge. mode. Jesus, I start tumbling all night. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. You just, you just hear banging, Arthur. You just can't fucking go to bed. And as you go to sleep, I need you, a measle. Yeah. To roll conscience. Conscience. Okay. Is it just conscience? Just conscience. Two. A measle, you are tumbling for a while. And you start to close your eyes, and it still feels like you're spinning and spinning and spinning, and then it goes from black to red, and you open your eyes. And even though you're still dizzy and disoriented, you're back in this big kind of pool of blood lying on your back. Except now it's like bubbling. You see little bubbles coming up to the surface and popping. And then after a minute, you feel uneasy as you feel hands start to reach up and touch your shoulders and legs and back that pull you down into the blood and when you turn around to meet whatever is grabbing you to fight back you see that it is the 12 fangs that you had killed as they pull you deeper and deeper and you feel part of yourself slipping away. Go ahead and lose one humanity for me. Damn. Wow. All right. Yes, Grizzly? Did you do anything bad? <laughs> no, it's just um, uh, whenever we wake up, I have to make a willpower roll because I have nightmares every night. Yeah, let's resolve it now before before we got over. I lose one blood pool, gain one willpower overnight, right? Yep, that's when you wake up. Don't worry about that yet. Don't worry about that yet. All right, I got a success. I got two successes. So what does I, that mean for you? I'm all right. I don't wake up. Okay. I don't wake up feeling like I'm still in a nightmare, but I still have the nightmares. You still have the nightmares? Okay. Just don't suffer any penalties. Okay. Arthur, you go to you go to sleep and you are back um, with Shiloh and Amizel at the police station. And you see as Deacon, you're starting to go to drive away and Deacon is going to turn Shiloh's shoulder and walk in the other direction, except you blink and Shiloh is your younger brother. And you look back and they're both gone, but it doesn't doesn't affect you enough this time. Not this one. And you sort of flash through different, different nightmares all night, your eyes flickering under your eyelids. Lots of fire, lots of blood. And then... I wake up and say, I am the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Up next, we've got Shiloh. Oh. Is there anything you want to do with Deacon? No. On the way? No? Okay. On, on the way? On the way to wherever he's taking you. All right. Um, you guys are in the back of a car. It's been driven by someone else. So we have just pretty much left. Pretty much. All right. I'll say, where are we in Los Angeles? Like, is there, are we in more suburban area? I've never been to Los Angeles. I have no idea what it looks like. Really, I had to set this in LA and I've been so few times. Um, <laughs> we are in, I'm just, I'm just zeroed in on the first thing I saw. Straight out of country. We're in Beverly Hills, baby. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Baby Jesus. Yeah. Oh shit, can't say it. He just burps <laughs> fire. <laughs> can't say words like that. Uh, Miss, Mr. Deacon, do you have a, a piece of paper or something that I could use? Uh, anything for you. Um, he kind of looks around. You got a piece of paper up there? Gets a piece of paper, passed back to him, passed back to you. A, a pencil or a pen of some kind. Uh, wow, you're really, uh, really stretching me here. Um, you got a pen, pencil. Number two, uh, is that going to cut it for you? Only Pencils. the best, oh. only the best. And Shiloh will just spend this drive kind of sketching the different things he sees cool. in Beverly Hills. What kind of music you listen to? No response, just locked in on this page, drawing like palm trees. Cool. And after, after a, a bit of silence, he just kind of looks up. Never seen these trees before. What is, why are they so poofy? Shit. Um, I never one, really, never really thought about bit. it. I think it's because we're close to the ocean, maybe something with sand. Aren't there think pills the for sand. the sagging ones? No, no. Unfortunately, there's there's some saggers that can never stand upright again. Unfortunate. Let's just say, 
He just continues to sketch. Yeah. Cool. Through the drive. Yeah. I mean, this is like an alien planet to you. Yeah. As you guys are, are basically going by these strips of lights, cars moving fast. You see all these new flora you've never seen before. This great skyline as you move towards it. And eventually you guys get out of the car and end up at this pretty large building in this sort of center of center of the city um, where he kind of takes you through, takes you up the stairs and leads you to where you'll be staying the night. Well, we save this for the special guests. Here's the penthouse suite. Gives you a key. Is it like a, a key key or is it like a card? It's a card. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, you stick. I think you just stick it in the lock there. And uh, I've never actually used this myself. Um, I walk over and just like, put, like slap it at the door. Like I start wiggling oh, that, around. Well, that might actually it. work. <laughs> I start just like wiggling it around. That might actually work. Hang on. All right. You start wiggling it around, uh, and it just opens. Deacon takes a step. Holy shit, you went with Ramir? You got magic on your hands? Uh -huh. What was that? I don't know. I just tried to you open didn't it even, up. You it, didn't it, even it touch it with the thing. You just wiggled it around. You the Tremere. <laughs> Whoa. I've never seen anything like that before in my own life. All right. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm going to go to sleep. Um, I'll have someone come get you in the morning. Could you bring me something to eat? I'm, I have not had anything. Oh, sure. You want something uh, tonight or the next night? It would be nice tonight, please. I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you. And I'll walk in. Sleep well. And it's just like a, it's like a hotel suite. It's so fucking nice, dude. It is absolutely decked out. There's like, it's sort, it's like a very, um, very like modern geometric kind of place. Mm -hmm. Just big windows all around, overviewing the whole Where? Los Angeles skyline. Like lights, sort of on the sides and centers hanging down. Where's the coffin? <laughs> There's not a coffin. It's just a bed. Why? <laughs> what do you do, dude? What do you do? What do you see? I walk see over and I look at it. Yeah. And I, and I see like the pillow and yeah. I kind of pick it up with like with my two fingers. Yeah. And I wiggle it around. Uh huh. Is it flat? No. Is it poofy? It's poofy. I like it. It's very poofy. poofy. And there's many of them. All there's right, so many more than are. you could ever possibly need. So many pillows. So many pillows. Create a pillow coffin, create a pillow coffin, create a pillow coffin. I want to, I'll go back to the door and wait for some, like, maybe look out for Deacon. See okay. if he, like, before he gets too far. He's gone. Question, 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 question. What, 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 what? Can vampires take fall damage? Um, well, probably. Yeah, probably. What do you want to find out? I mean, I get, yeah, we could try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, vampire. I mean, as, as far as you, you jump off the roof, um, anyone. <laughs> so no yeah, sleeping. you would you would know Arthur. Yeah, I mean, if a vampire hit a ground hard enough, he'd probably fucking die. <laughs> if anything hit the ground hard enough, he'd probably die. But you know, he's coming back with food at some point. Okay, I'll just sit there and like wait patiently. Maybe I'll sketch the view. Yep. Wait for him to come back. You wait for a little bit, and after a bit, you hear a knocking at the door. I will go and open it. You see two men in suits carrying what looks like this sort of black bag, and they say, room service. And then they just oh, like scoot it in much. and zip it up, and there's just like fully a dude tied up in there <laughs> with like an apple in his mouth. <laughs> um, what, the, what are you doing? I don't- The guy looks absolutely terrified. What is this for? Have a good is night. Is he going to bring me the- Ritz. Nice. Is he going to bring me the, the blood? Do I let him, oh, no. do I untie him? Blood's in there. You get to open it yourself. Have a good night, Prince. And then they walk out, shut the door. All right, all right. Just it's very still, very <laughs> still. I, I go over. I'm looking for like a knife. <laughs> They have, um, it's a really nice, it's oh a really, really God. nice suite. So they have a little dishwasher set up. They have, uh, they have metal knives, but they also have plastic utensils. Okay, I'll go and grab the plastic okay, utensil. Grab the plastic and I'll knife. go over to him. All right, it can't be so hard. His eyes have to grab start it wide of here. Kind of, just, no, be careful. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get a little. It'll be all right. It will be all right. I just like poke it at his neck, like with a, a couple times. He's trying to actually do it right. harder now. Just a little. Just poking it with the plastic knife. Does that hurt? I can't, I can't hear you. Hang on, hang on. I, I take the apple out. Oh, 
Does that oh, hurt? thank you, man. Um, yeah, I have a family. I have kids. I have a mom. She loves I'm me. Not, hey, right, kids I'm not going me. to kill you. Okay, you don't know, have to worry about that. I'm, I'm not at all going to kill you. <sighs> You're perfectly fine. I'm just looking for a little bit of your blood. I just don't know how to, like... My blood? Get it out. What do you need my blood for? Is this, is this like a... Is this like some sort of weird cult? No, it's completely normal. And I look at him. I'd like to... Um, Dominate. Mesmer. I like Mesmer. to mess <laughs> okay. um, Yeah, just yeah, uh, just give me just give me that roll. We'll just base how this whole thing goes on that roll. Six successes. I'll be whatever you want me to be. What do you want me to be? Do you want me to be a hog? No, you, you're perfectly fine how you are. It, it's I'm just trying to get a little bit of blood. Okay, I yeah. Just don't know how to. I start poking at his neck with it. <laughs> it yeah. Why are you Why are you laughing? <laughs> why, I don't stop. know. Should I stop? Probably. Okay. It's weird. Stops talking. All right, I guess I'm going to try and <laughs> it's weird. bite you. Okay, do you want any help? That would be great. If you could, like, sing a song for me or something, make it a little less quiet, it's freaking me I out. I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, <laughs> I'm out the door. That's I'm gonna song. hit You're the just city words. before I leave. Brush my teeth. You need to add a little beat. If you add a beat for me, it'll sound better. All right. All With right. a bottle bom, of bom, Jack, because when bom. I leave Did for I, the night, bom. I ain't coming back. Bom. I'm talking pedicure bom. on my toes, bom. toes. Trying out all I don't, new clothes. I don't think this clothes. is working for me. Just stop talking. Just stop talking. I go up to his neck. Okay. And I like kind of bite it. You scrape ow, it with ow, your teeth. Ow, sorry, ow, sorry. I'm, I'm doing I don't stop. I'm not trying to hurt you. I, ow, I'm just Jesus. trying to get <laughs> I'm not gonna wake up tomorrow sorry. morning feeling like Pete Diddy at all. Stop. No, ow. I'm sorry. Ouch. What what is your name? <laughs> I gotta stop. I was gonna say Grangor and I'm gonna stop. <laughs> not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to a random name generator. Micah. David. Jeremy. Craig. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me, Craig. Luke. Craig. Craig, Craig. Yeah, um, you might have heard of my list. And I'm Craig Stumer. No, I've not heard of your list. Quiet, little one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a baby in here? No, that's just my tumor. I'm sorry. All right. Is he, like, fully, like, basically suggestible to you? Or, like, how does this kind of work? Oh, I just... All I did was put that idea in his head that it's okay and this is a normal thing. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, sweet. That's all he needs. Yeah, yeah great. That was all. Okay, yeah. Sorry for being weird about that earlier, by the way, oh, and saying right. it hurts. I know that's it kind of right. hurts, but it's just like, we... You know, no, it is, it is what it is. I'm not to hurt you. I, I yeah. don't want to, like... I mean, it does kind of hurt, but, like, it's... We do this all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just I, all right. I'll try. Just get it. Again. Just get it. I won't look at it. I, I like go to it. bite in. What's the texture like? What's the like? Is it like he got like a mushy neck? It's spongy. Ooh. Is it spongy? Um, or is he muscular as shit? He is, like hard? is thick Gross. traps, man. It, thick fucking it traps. It looks like they found you a pretty juicy morsel here. I mean, oh, it it's right. like, what would you what would you want it to be? Nothing. There's nothing that's gonna There's be. There's nothing good. that would make you happy. No. Here. No. All right. He drinks it out of the chalice. I, so. I don't know. It's the human equivalent of a. What's your favorite food in real life? <laughs> French fry. It's a human French fry. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you so crunchy and like tastes like peanut? Only oil. on the outside. Only on the outside. Right. On the inside, it should right. be more mushy. You're sweating canola oil, dude. I like, <laughs> I like start to bite in and then I like lurch back. Oh. They were so I heard it, so I heard it was good for you to You're shampoo so with salty. oil, so I thought I might as well body wash with oil too. And so I just started kind of bathing right, in I oil. Don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Um, you can just. I go. I'm sorry. Did I make it weird? It is not your you fault. You can tell me if no, I made it's it not, weird. You, you did not make it weird. We can still try this. Look, it's not your fault. I, I'm just not You're really. You're just saying that because you don't want to hurt my feelings. Look, I've never done this before. I've done this a lot of times. I know. I believe you. I've done this so many times. And that experience, like, I'm not discrediting it. I'm just saying I've never done it before. And I appreciate that. And so maybe maybe you can listen to me. Maybe you can take my guidance. Perhaps I can untie you and we can just hang out and, like, I don't know. That would be. That sounds a lot weirder. Does it really? Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mesmerize them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. All of them. <laughs> so, like, wait, that's ten. Yeah. Sorry, I'm actually. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Eleven. Yeah. No, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you if you want, I've right, got really okay. no preference, one right, way or the other. I'm going to try. Both to, are equally. I go loop back. Warm, normal to I me. Go back, like with the Craig. plastic knife, and I start trying to cut it. Yeah. Cut the rope. Yeah. Yeah, that's the normal way to do that, I think. Does it cut? <laughs> Plastic. Go ahead. Just, just roll strength. Seven. You get like a little bit. You get like a little fiber going. Yeah. That's not really. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I don't it's, think see, it's going it's, to work. Well, maybe I maybe can go grab a real knife. Up. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. <laughs> and I go 
into the kitchen yeah. and grab a real knife. And I'm just kind of like holding it. Like, go ahead, roll strength. Yeah, seven again. Yeah, you start to cut through this uh, a little, a little better. Probably just saw at it for a while. Yeah, yeah. But the smell of that blood that you kind of pricked and it sort of started to well up from that just plastic knife, you poking it a little, you keep finding your eyes kind of moving up towards it. And how much how much blood do you have in your blood pool right now? Five, but I do have a weakness that I can't drink blood unless it is served to me. I've got good news. I would count this as served to you because this guy we got brought to you. I mean, I thought- Oh, you mean literally like, in a goblet? Yeah. Oh, like, okay, then it doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I, I can't physically do this. That's funny. But anyway, I'm going to need you to make a frenzy roll. Oh, God. Self-control. Uh, two. Good news and bad news. You start to uh, saw at this thing, and you start to like do it more and more violently as you're kind of looking up. Uh, hey, everything everything all still good Just and normal back there? Get it open. And you feel like this oh. knot in your stomach, like this hunger really just growing and festering, and you're still in control right now. How many successes did you get? Two. Two? Okay, cool. You're able to get through his bonds, but I need you to make after that another roll for Frenzy. You're looking here to accumulate five total successes. That's just one more success. You feel like you're about to like kind of, you, you feel like you're slipping. All right. Um, you feel like you're about to just I'm, like dig I'm in. I'm actually not if feeling get very well. If you want to leave right now, that would probably be a good thing. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that sounds that sounds you know, kind of weird. Should, I thought you should this really like go bubble. right now. And I mesmerize him one more one more time. Okay, absolutely. You can do that. Go ahead and mesmerize him one more time. You can also use willpower to succeed twice if you use two willpower. What's I'll do run? that. I'll do that. I'll You'll use do my two willpower. willpower. I'll use my willpower. Okay. I do not want you to see you break character. Yeah. Uh, he says, "Okay, that man uh, is great. Great meeting you. So hey, by the way, those people, um, those people that kind of just grabbed me off the street earlier after saying I looked juicy, was that normal too? What, or what people are you talking about? Oh, just, I, I would like know. to uh, <laughs> modify my uh, forgetful mind. I'm not even gonna make you roll because you've dominated him so much. Um, okay. He just goes, "Yeah, I don't know." Uh, walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. Oh, hey, by the way, what's my name again? Craig. Okay. Thought it was thought it was Greg for a second. I don't know. I don't oh, know why. Craig. Craig. Get a little jumbled. Craig, thank you so much for coming up here to help me with yep. the, the dishes that I asked you for, and I don't I don't need your help anymore. You can go. Yeah. No worries. No, it wasn't dishes. It was just the normal blood like no, it was cutting and, and stuff. Right, right, what are you talking? Craig's about? got you. Take care. Craig, Craig, there was no blood involved. You're right. Please go. Sorry, lots of dishes. I'm Love going dishes. To like, <laughs> in like a haze, kind of walk around this. Okay. So you use two willpower, this right? Room. Yeah. Okay. But I'm still going to need you to roll anyway because you could botch. A botch. Low chance, but you could botch. Could, but could botch. Four successes. Did you get any ones? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You feel that feeling ease and. Not entirely fade, but kind of submerge back into your subconscious as Craig leaves. I was just wondering, maybe he should have waited to use his willpower until after that roll. Too bad. Yeah, probably. I better, you you have to declare you have before, to do it before you, have to do it before before you yeah. roll. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you got six successes. Yep. Then. Yeah. Shiloh, where are you sleeping? I... In this weird, squishy rectangle? All right. No, I'm going no. to take some of the the cloths off of here and I'm going to go over to the bathtub and I'm going to like put them all in there like line them up properly and I'll, I'll like Beautiful. put pillows and line it up make it pretty and I'll I'll take the mattress and I'll lay down in the tub and put it over top of me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Excellent. Spray room service doesn't no, come in. No, cry a little bit. Okay, cool. Aww. So you go, you make a bathtub coffin. That makes me sad. And you cry. I'm going to kill everyone for you. <laughs> what does is, what is Shiloh dream about? Okay. Shiloh has a very specific dream. In Shiloh's dream, he's in his room. Okay. The same room he's lived in for all of his life, and he's looking out that same window. He's seen it a million times, the trees, the gloom. He blinks, and now all of a sudden he's outside of it looking at the window, and he sees himself. And it's a strange kind of like he's looking at himself from two perspectives kind of thing and as he wanders through the woods the rest of his dream is just exploring and as you sort of fall asleep with this smile on your face leaving the old you behind I need everyone loses one blood point uh oh and everyone gains one willpower if you expended any I did and 
eventually, you guys wake up. Who do we want to start with? I'd like to try and wake up, force myself to wake up before he does. Here's what we're going to do for this part. This part I'm very excited about. If we're starting with you guys, Bebo, be gone. All right. Bebo, be gone. Interesting. Bebo, be gone. Where should I be? Where I actually have no idea. Somewhere you can't hear us. Maybe office. Uh, office is cool. Okay. If I'll you can't, like, you want to like play music or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Arthur, you're gonna try and wake up first. Yes. Um. Uh, can, can we roll to bye see? Bye. Yes. There's a way. Bye bye. There's something I'd like to do while he's sleeping. Okay. If I can do it. There's something I'd like to do while he's sleeping. If I can do it. No, I said it first, bitch. I messaged him yesterday about this. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then we'll do the contested roll because I didn't message him. I just came up with it now. You guys both roll contested humanity to see who wakes up first. Humanity? Humanity. Well, that's a little rougher for me. <laughs> I just lost one of those. Makes Six. sense, right? Yep. Uh, okay, I got two. Four successes. Nice. Yep, you can wake up earlier in the evening. All I just as do the sun starts to fade and the gold turns into a purple and then to a black. First thing, I want to walk, find him where he's sleeping. Okay. You find me in the dryer. <laughs> uh, the load's done. <laughs> yeah. I just want to read his aura. The lid, his, the lid is full. I just want to read his aura as he sleeps, as it's likely the most neutral, pure aura for anyone because they're sleeping. Okay. Hey, I Go see ahead and give me the aura roll. thing. Would I have to describe what my aura would be? Would you? Yeah, you would describe it. Okay. Can you hand me the the sheet with the aura on it? Yes. Go ahead and roll it. Depending on my successes, <sighs> um, I'll tell you what I got. Yeah. Almost four, but I got a one. I rolled three tens. You got a one? Well, yeah, but- That it means can't... it cancels out a success. I know, so it's three successes. Oh, cool. I rolled four tens. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, actually kind of crazy. Let me tell you how much I get with that. So that's gonna be, I can, I get the shade. So pale or bright, pale huh. is pale. vampire, bright is human. And then I can distinguish the main color and then I can recognize the color patterns. You would see a lot of red and probably some Hints of yellow and light green. There would also be just a f so faint, just so faint in there, some sparkles. <sighs> what a pain. <laughs> there it is. There it Catch is. Phrase. There it is. He's a, he's a fucking, he's a little punk. Now. I go back to my closet, okay. hang upside down, and then pretend to be asleep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds good. Eventually, a measel, you wake up. Yeah, cool. I check on the, the fake sleeping man. Is he still sleeping? <laughs> I'm upside down. <laughs> sure looks like it. Is it dark outside? How far away am I from the hideout? Like, I would know. <laughs> what hideout? The demon's hideout. Demon's hideout? So you're kind of towards the middle of town. Yeah. Uh, in Chinatown, Demon's Hideout is... I mean, it's a bit of ways away. If it's, like, not feasible to make it there, quite, like, somewhat quickly, like, within an hour, I'd say, and back. I'd say it's... A, I'd say you get there in 20 minutes, 20-minute drive. 20-minute drive, okay. So you'd have to be quick. Interesting. Maybe I save this for another night. Do I'm not trying will. to. I'm not trying to pick up suspicion. Do it, you will. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass, I guess. I'll hold Are you off. sure? You positive? You positive? I don't even know what it is, but I want you to do things. <sighs> you do know what... You know what it is. Once he leaves the room, I'm just gonna follow stealthily. I'm gonna cloak myself in shadow, even. Uh, you know, fuck it. We're gonna go see our boy Soda. Yo! Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You slip out. I, what's I your, grab what's, the keys. Yeah, what's yeah. your goal here? You're trying to get back before he wakes up, basically? Yeah, no, basically. No, no, I said once he leaves, I'm gonna follow no, him. No, I know. Yeah, he no, thinks you're my, I, I think you're, you're sleeping. Oh, okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. You go up, you grab the keys, you hop in the car. Oh, how the fuck are you following? Because he's taking the car. I am taking the car. <laughs> Let me roll myself first, damn. Okay. <laughs> you just get in the back seat. I can't see you in a mirror. <laughs> I have. I just got five successes. Oh. What do you? Where do you want to be? I actually think it would be funny if you're just sitting in the back seat and every time I look in the rear view, you just weren't there. <laughs> yeah, if I'm stealthy enough, then I'll do that. Do you have a reflection? I think I do actually. Oh damn. <laughs> just, but I, but like you can lie down in the back seat or hide. Yeah. You can be like invisible in shadows or something, right? I'll just that... sit behind his seat. Yeah. <laughs> He'll never see me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. You managed to somehow time up the opening of the car doors, jump inside and slide and sit next to his seat, just making yourself like moving so you're not in his I'm peripheral so vision. <laughs> Some time alone. One with the shadows. Gotta turn on the radio. 
I saw the sun. <laughs> it opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. I right, make sure Let I actually me. decrease my hearing. <laughs> no, I can't do that, but it's definitely not nice right now. <laughs> Do you, yeah, do you have, oh, so you don't have fighting hair on right now? Okay, no. you don't immediately take seven lethal damage <laughs> um, as the sign plays. You go cruising off into Los Angeles, looking for your boy Soda. Looking for your boy Soda. <sighs> da, da, Anything you're doing da, as you drive? Da, 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 da. Just thinking the sign. I see like a pad, I just see a pedestrian, I swear towards him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped out of the way, holy shit, man! Jesus Christ! Uh, Whoa, didn't you see the sign? <laughs> What's the sign say? Uh, it's it's the song. It's the yeah. oh the song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The sign says stop. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I ran it. Nice. Because <laughs> the only sign you need is Ace of Face. Uh, I saw the sign. And it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Life's demanding without understanding. I saw the sun. I filled the car with darkness. <laughs> you actually? No. <laughs> you immediately crashed into life. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going like a little bit over the speed limit. And like by a little bit over, I mean like a little bit over the like normal, normal for going over the speed limit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make anything happen for that. It's um, just, no, it's just like five, seven over, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like, Ten. 12 maybe yeah it yeah, really just depends yeah. I've, I've done this before okay cool uh yeah you start driving in that direction pretty recklessly and eventually you're able to uh pull up outside the gang hideout you come just come around the corner to yeah. where you usually stop holy shit man slow down <laughs> like tap is fucking yeah come to a stop right in front of right in front of soda oh whoa hey you measle soda Bro. Oh. No, man, I don't, uh... There's like a big smile on, on a measle's face right now. And, and you as see, he starts saying that, yes, it's kind of like... As soon as you say soda, his whole demeanor changes. Um, uh, what's going on, man? His face just drops. Oh, no, man, I don't really I don't really do that anymore. What? It's just not... It's not my thing, that's all. I've been gone for three days, and you've sworn off soda. You know, it can give you cavities, right? <laughs> you see, like, tears while you... <laughs> Dude, no, it's, this isn't you. No, man, this is me now. I'm, and, I, and I'd like it if you called me Theo or Noda, because I hate, don't like. Don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it's okay. I don't want to drink <laughs> soda. Shit. Oh, God. Hey, but man. it's all good, man. It's all good. I met what someone about... who looks just like you, by the way. They what? told me I didn't like soda, and that's when I realized they were right. What? Yep. Well, just me and the boys got locked up the other day, put away. Oh. Smashing mailboxes again. Yes. With, yes uh, you know That's what like... I was smashing them with? Soda. Yeah. What about carbonated water? Can you do bubbly? Do you have any? No. I haven't tried. Maybe maybe that, maybe that. it's like a nice... Come here, measle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a story you guys embrace. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Thanks, man. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What do you, uh, what... What brings you here? So I would have already told Soda in the three days that like some shit was happening with me. Yeah. He'd be the only one who knew. Why did you tell him exactly? I'd be like, hey, I'm, I can like do crazy vampire shit now. Also, I can't go outside in the day. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Is this about your crazy vampire shit? That you can yeah, it's about you can't go out in the day. Shit, dude. Is that what this is about? Yeah, it's about the crazy vampire shit. Did something new happen with your crazy vampire shit? I mean, like I met some people. And the crazy what, vampires. vampires? Get check this out. We're actually gonna like bust into Club Crepuscule. The, 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 the fucking shitty Club place. Club. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, you know that place. Fucking hate that place. Yeah, I've heard really bad things about that place. Oh well, yeah, it's right across from the gutter. Fucking our favorite yeah, place. I fucking love the gutter. I fucking love the gutter. Fucking man. love it. Yeah, I love, love the gutter. I love eating slop and trash. Yes. God, God yeah. and the fucking soda. I'm just sorry. clogging my arteries with just swamp water. Yeah. That's what I called it. My mix of my signature mix of sodas. I called it swamp water. Uh, yeah. So, but you can't. You don't. You don't do I'm that. Trying, um, I'm trying. I'm trying juices. Yeah, which ones? I tried orange. It's not the same. I, the pulp doesn't wasn't match really, that carbonation. Thought pulp would kind of be like a carbonation substitute. Yeah. Didn't really do it. Then tried cranberry juice because I tried cranberry sprite and I love sprite cranberry. And um, you ever think like maybe maybe no. we could try to like reunite the passion? You know, have another soda incident. My origin. Your origin. I mean, there's a, 
There's a chance, man, but I don't even know if I want to anymore. I don't even know if I can look soda in the hole. You're gonna figure out one day. Well, how can I? How can I? How can I help you with the non-soda related? Yeah. Let's, just, let's forget about soda. Forget about yeah, soda. So, uh, listen, I found out, right? Yeah. What's up? I'm a vampire. I can like give you guys powers too. Oh shit, yeah. man! Really? Yeah. You ever think about doing that? Can't like let people know. Oh yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm chill, dude. I mean, it might be a little sus. Um, I'm chill. Yeah, I mean, you're chill. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm mentally stable. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, you are. Yeah. So, I mean, I, uh, what can I do to help? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I got you, man. I just figured, like, having you in the back pocket for the future. Kind of, okay. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're kind of both in each other's back pockets, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, sure. I mean, I'd, I'd love to help you with crazy vampire shit. Hell yeah. Just yeah, get out hey, there keep and. Your voice, voice down. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Can I hear? They'll, like, they'll, like, kill us or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, man. So, like, how does this? Uh, how does I don't this... know. Apparently, you just had to like drink my blood. It's not carbonated. I drink your blood? Yeah, yeah. It's not carbonated. What the fuck? Have you ever watched a fucking movie? No, man. You drink my blood. He like shows his. No, neck. no. That's no, not how it works. It right it's not yeah, it is. And this, this is the artery you want. I think that's no. Wait, that's the one if you cut. I think I die. So go for this one. This the side. There's like one. There's one that you don't want to cut. And there's one that you want to maybe. And I don't remember which. It, yeah, I mean, you, I can, you, I, I, I can I, try I just, that, I, I guess. Just, but like, I'm pretty sure they said that it's like you drink my wait, blood. Wait, so I have to drink your blood? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we do? Like okay, both. I'll, I'll do drink. Both. You drink a little of my blood, and then I'll drink a little of your blood. Yeah, okay, that works. And then so that way we do like, both because you know, I just. Good, I, I mean, I know the ground here. So what, who told you that? Like a vampire? Yeah, like a vampire. He's been a thousand years. It doesn't sound right, though, does it? I mean, yeah, but that's kind of weird. A thousand years. How would I drink your blood, man? This guy's like brutal. I don't have. I don't have anything. My can't. I grind. I grind my sleep. My can't. It's actually pretty kind of the round yeah yeah but like they, they sharpen up you know you have every tooth in your mouth is sharp holy yeah. shit why have i never noticed it yeah i mean it's new oh, okay yeah so who's buying who here uh, uh, both okay both same time <laughs> three <laughs> we like, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right man. it's like you got this like you got a, three like a arm lock yeah yeah except like, so we bite it yeah they like yeah. print in our hand shake lock it in all right three two, two one, one. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say no rolls needed. You guys are both super willing here. Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to ghoulify him right now. I'm trying to ghoulify him. Yeah. Um, but you are drinking his blood. Yeah, that's also true. So how, maybe, how much blood do you have in you? I have eleven points. Oh, you're full as hell, actually. Actually, no, it's ten points. My bad. Okay. Um, how did you do that? Uh, I killed twelve. He people. killed twelve people. <laughs> 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 Lost his humanity. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, there were fangs. To be fair. Yeah. You yeah. you you chomp into him. You feel like you're already pretty full, and soda's blood is like weirdly spicy. It's basically carbonated, <laughs> but you it's it's starting to fade now. Um, oh, no. his, his carbonated blood, and he bites into your arm too, which is a little tougher than his. And you see that your blood runs out like a lot thicker and, and almost almost blacker. Uh, and he kind of takes a taste of it. Oh, man. All right, that's no soda. That's no soda for sure. No, definitely not. I mean, it's blood. Yeah. It tastes like iron. Yeah, it tastes like iron. Yeah. <sighs> kind of good, though. I okay. liked it more than soda. Really? Maybe this is my new thing. Blood? Yeah. It's, sure, I don't see why not. It's my, that's my thing, too, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I, I, okay, sorry. I don't want to walk in your... No, it's like, it's not, you're not, you're not like, crushing my vibe or anything, right, man. So he drink yeah, he drinks your blood. How the fuck does this work? I think you have to, like, drain them, No, right? that's not correct. You give a mortal your blood... He becomes basically your servant, like addicted to your blood. Uh, and he gets... Um, you just... Yeah, you just told me like ghoul. Yeah, he, he becomes a ghoul. And um, I think they're a little stronger than humans, but they're still basically mortal. So it just says... Yeah. He just has... Yeah, like he has he'll powers. Now, like, in, like, for example, his aura will have pale blotches in it. That's fun. I'll turn him eventually. I'll look into it, but for a now... created by giving a bit goes, of vampiric... Whew, okay! Wow, that was good. Can I have some more? Right now, I mean. Yeah, I mean. I, well, what should I? What should I? What should I do first? I don't know. Like, uh, you probably just hang around. No, me like a you. no, like a vamp, like a vampire thing, man. I'd Remember when you got your your? Do a backflip, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be just as good as doing this as this was before. <laughs> you know what he's gonna do? What's he's that? going to uh, roll his his usual dice, and he's going to immediately spend a blood point to up his traits and do a better backflip, and then you burn that blood that you. That's crazy. You see as there's a pulse of red energy around his legs as he flies up and does the sickest backflip you've ever seen. 
he does a double and then just lands. Holy shit. Whoa. That was awesome, man. Dude. Yeah. I could do it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have the blood this time. He like jumps up and like lands on his back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it wore out, man. Oh. Yep. I will figure that out. Uh, okay, well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I mean... Do you just let me know whatever you need? I got you, bro. Okay, yeah, I'll like, um, give you some blood every night, I guess. Cool, I don't and know. whenever you find a new soda, just let me know, because... Uh, Maybe I can, like, carbonate my blood. And that'll... That would be so... I have a soda stream at home. Fucking hype, dude. <laughs> we, after this, whatever's going on tonight, yeah. we gotta carbonate you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, man. Now you're speaking my language. Okay. All right. Hey. Tell the boys to say hi. Hey, I will. Talk about mutiny. Kill them. You All know. right. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I heard Dave say a little shit, so I... I yeah, I mean, like, you, know, you just a shank to the kidney or something. We can do a little bit kick of that. Him, kick him money. And, down. hey, man, um, I guess this this is kind of... This is sort of the first time I've really felt hope since I lost the ability to to taste and enjoy soda, so... um, How long ago was that? 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, same, pretty much the same time I met that guy, that weird guy that looked like you, but like a sickly Victorian child. Shiloh. Anyway, man, take it easy. I will. I'm what gonna, do we? And what do we always say? Let's 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 blow this soda stand. Let's blow this soda stand, man. All right. Well, soda pop in whenever you feel like it. That's I like I like how you yeah. Pop in, that. but if not, pop off. Be safe out there, soldier. You tears too. tears in his eyes. Yeah, tears in Soda's eyes as well. <laughs> Soda is mildly addicted to your blood now. <laughs> um, good, 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 good. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, you get back in the car. Where are you going? This is the part of me you get back in the car. Never gonna ever take away from me. I say, this is the part of me. Two more times. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? You have two more times to change your mind on what you're doing to that friend of yours. The first time you give immortal your blood, their feelings about you become stronger than normal. He already loves me. <laughs> you see, he, he peeks back around the corner. Hey, man, I know I said take it easy, but take it really easy, all right, man? <laughs> you take it like, it's like, yeah. It yeah. Slowly kind of goes and back. And just so you're aware, these feelings are artificial, so long as they drink your blood. The second time, the feelings grow strong enough to influence them. He might even fall in love with you. He might even become your slave. And the third time, he's a blood bond. At this point, that friend of yours, Noda, he, he's Soda. He'll no longer be anything but just your measly follower. And his entire personality will revolve around following you. Yeah, I don't think my humanity is low enough to be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's my warning. What if I wanted to make him a vampire? Doing so, as I told you, without an elder's permission, will result in both of your deaths. Well, I'm alive, and so is the one who... Uh, uh, so is the one who, uh, sired me. Sired, sired me, yeah. <laughs> you have like a literal <laughs> notebook now. Like, you have like a vampire <laughs> glossary you're filling in. <laughs> I literally have a notebook. Like I told you, do whatever you wish. Put yourself in a position where you'll get killed and don't expect me to save you. Now, I'm hungry. I would like to feed before we go get you clothes and go to the club. God, we're gonna have such a night on the town. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be Oh great. my god. Okay. Yeah, you guys come and shit again, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys come and, come and shit and piss and fart. No, I shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't come and piss and fart. Yeah? Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, just walking past. Yeah, that's so funny. I just um, can't hear it, yeah. Okay, so you wanna you wanna feed? Yes, I need to fill up, otherwise I will become a danger to society. Did that fill up my blood points or no? Uh I'd say gain one, lose one, so Okay, so nothing, nothing. even. You just yeah, you just traded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um okay. What are you doing to hunt? You have a car. Okay. So we're hunting, right? Like what's the deal? I know place. You're the local. So if you know an area yeah. Or a group of people who would already be willing. Well, not willing, so to say. We might have to coerce them with, like, our fists. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, the fun part. I don't wish to get into any conflict with mortals. 
Have fun. Where's your hunger at right now, Arthur? Oh, I have three blood points right now. Oh, wow. Because I rolled a five whenever I had to roll the d10, and I used two and gained two, and I just lost one when I woke up. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Nothing for now. You're good. Hmm. Should be okay unless tomorrow I do not have food. How do you normally hunt? Break and enter? Like, in their sleep? Well, I suppose I knock on the door first, and, um... I ask politely to come in. What? (laughs) You could just, like, skip all that, like, sneak into the room, you know? I try. Boy, I try. Okay. But one thing you should know about me is I have the worst luck. Okay. And it will rub off on you. Listen. Full warning. I know I know a few, like, easy, easy marks around here. Let's try to hit one of those, I guess. I'm willing to get a bit unorthodox if it means helping you learn self-control so you don't completely botch our mission tonight. Let's... These are break and enter targets that I have marked for, like, robbery. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So these are, is it, is it storefronts? Is it homes? Like, homes. What is it? These would be, like, homes. These are homes you marked to break like and enter? A little bit, a little bit suburban, maybe. Okay. Go ahead and roll me wits plus larceny. We're just going to see how good this goes. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's pretty good. Uh, seven, nine, zero, seven. So four of them. Oh, wow. Arthur, you watch as you guys drive to this location and... Pretty easily, a measle picks a lock for a window or has one open. Just leave these doors unlocked already. Um, Slips it open silently, slips inside, and you guys can do whatever you'd like. So I already scouted this house. Uh, Pretend to be a TV repairman. See, there's the TV just sparking at the corner. (laughs) I I, I listen. How many? uh, How many beating hearts in here? Yeah, I mean, if you're listening, if you're listening for beating hearts, it's gonna be a little more difficult. I'll roll. Can I just, yeah. like, would I just, like, have an idea? You'd know. Yeah, I, I want to say, like, suburban, family of four Let, kind of deal. Yeah, family of four works. Yeah. Mom, dad, two kids. Leave the kids alone. All right. Yeah, I'm with that. What about, like, how do we do it without them waking up? Hmm. Or I guess we're whispering, so. Yeah. What are your capabilities? Um, well. Vampiric-wise. The things are figured out. I can make my hand real sharp. <laughs> and I can move real fast. And also, if you punch me, I won't feel it. In order to not cause any problems with humans who are sleeping, all you need to do is be quiet and bite them. Oh, well, I'm good at that, too. Because it looks like your teeth will surely penetrate. He gives a very toothy smile. <laughs> yeah. Let me watch you first to see if you can hold control. It only take a certain amount. Yeah, uh, we sneak up into the parents' bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go yep. for. Uh, are you guys gonna do it at the, same, <laughs> at the same time, or are you gonna watch him do it first? Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm going to you. Fuck. I don't want to u- use goddamn blood points at the moment because. Sure. You don't have to. Uh, Everyone's asleep in the house. Yeah. Not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. You should know squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, shit. Squeak, squeak, it's me, the mouse. Hello. The very nature of a vampire bite is enough to null any uh, aggressive feelings a human may have. So what, it'll just put them to sleep, kind of, or? How do you? How are you going to rule it when they get bitten? Do they forget? Well, in this in like, this book, it says it's fucking orgasmic and you come. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> I know that. We're not going to do they that. They call it fucking kissing. It's we're, crazy. We're going to yeah. They they kiss you and then they come. They pant and everyone have so much fun and then they forget. Here's how I'll rule it. In the case of these sleeping people, we can be like bliss, I guess. And you like, can you yeah. can feed on them, and be totally fine. They basically become unaware, yeah. right? They're sleeping. You feed on them as long. They just as you have don't... really pleasant dreams. Yeah, as long as you don't take enough to, you know, hurt them in any sort of way, you can do whatever you want, and they won't remember this. They may just have weird dreams. It'll be easier if you start with the wrist. Isn't that like more obvious? Uh, maybe not. Okay. I don't think location matters. I'll go for the girl. Where you go? Girl? Okay. Girl. Yeah. So girl woman. I have, um, I'll be on the other side. I'll have Void come down and help me open it. So I don't have too much of a trouble binding into it. But cool. I don't think Void needs any food. Nope. Chomp. Chomp. Void's fine. Meow. <laughs> um, and then 
I will basically do it in tandem with Emizel and keep an eye on him <laughs> to see how he handles That's fun. the bloodlust. All right, wonderful. Uh, you guys both chomp in. Emizel, um, you're pretty full, right? Yeah, I'm pretty cl- I'm two points away from full. Okay. Does this man might have more of a blood pool. Is he a big lumberjack of a dude? They both have probably the same. Okay, I'll just take the same. They're just line. average suburban family. But as you chow down, Arthur, as you taste that blood, and you've used a lot of it, you've commanded a lot of shadows recently, had to go through a lot that you didn't expect. This could be a good learning experience for you. Go ahead and make a frenzy roll. Very good. Well, I need more blood anyways, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is mischievous, Arthur voice. <laughs> Dee hee. Okay, okay, okay. I'll even use my dice that's covered in blood. Yay! I got one success. If it's six, right? I got it. I rolled ten. Great. Great, great, great. You get one success as you start to drink, and you realize just how hungry you were as soon as you start, and you think to yourself, surely just a little more as you feel something in your gut gnawing trying to get out. There's uh, another you kind of banging on the cage. Would I like be finishing up at this point or what? Uh, yeah. How many blood points do you take? Oh, uh, two. Okay. That's like enough to make me full. Cool. Take two blood points. Um, I would probably like have gone for more in any other situation, but seems seems okay. Uh, you yeah, you back up. You see Arthur is still drinking. <sighs> um, Arthur, you have you take however many blood points you want. Okay, so one success is not enough. One success, you are in control for one turn, and the turn here is taking the blood. Then we're gonna roll again. Oh, uh, this, I'll do the safe amount. If I feel myself about to lose it, I would try to pull off unless I have to roll first. You'd have to roll first because you only got one success. Okay, okay, so I'll take a safe amount. Is that two or three? Uh, I humans? think you could take three safely. Okay, I'll take three. How much is like lethal amount? Over three things get wonky. Okay. Like, it's how much dangerous. would, like, kill a person, though? Like Ten is all their blood. Everyone has ten blood. Okay. Pe- mortals have ten blood. Uh, yeah, and then, like, over three, they, they have, like, they're, like, they need to go make, to hospital. Make them anemic. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, okay. okay. Roll again? Make me another one. So I added blood to my blood. Do I get to add another die if I have more self-control than I did? Uh, I yeah, say yes. I'll say so. Okay. <laughs> What? What? I rolled what? a nine and a one, so oh, no. I don't. So no successes. Willpower. Use a willpower to avoid frenzy. Yes. Okay. I have to. I have to teach him how to do it. Okay. That's fair. I was gonna like eventually probably pull you off of it. Hey, make sure man, you you're drinking a lot. <laughs> but you can spend a point of willpower to put the frenzy on hold for one round. Oh. So what does that mean? What can I do with that? That means that you get to choose as you feel your start. You start to lose yourself and suck more blood, and you get an action here to do anything you want before you have to roll again if you spend a willpower. If you don't spend a willpower, who knows what'll happen? So you spend it, right? I mean, I'll try to stop See, you. this is what I mean by I have the worst luck. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? This is like the easiest in and out. Hey, give, give me a sec. Give me a sec. He was hungry, though. This is what you get when you're hungry. Yes, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Yeah. Okay. Since I use that willpower, here's what I'll do first. So you are using that willpower. I already did to, to do it. Yeah, I marked it. You get an action. Can my action I- involve leaving the house? Yep. Okay. Right. I dip out this house. Okay. Hey, where are you going? Hey. Uh, by the way, as soon as I, right before I leave, it looks like, I'm not controlling them, but it looks like the shadows around Arthur's face are starting to twist and turn almost to like him to make him look more monstrous look more menacing it looks like I love his that. features sink and sharpen and um he didn't say anything he almost kind of growls and then fucking darts out the room and even me. though you left his shadow is still there um <laughs> That's and crazy. I need you Boyd as... gets almost kind of scared and hops yeah. off and then licks the guy's wound and but I leave her behind and I just burst out this house you burst out the house yeah, you, you don't you don't know where Void is. As soon as you get outside, you guys came in through a window, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you exiting through the window? Probably. Okay. Where we came from. You run up to the window, and as you get to the window, I'm gonna need you to make another frenzy roll. Oh, okay. I would chase after him at this okay. point. Yep. Yeah. Can I can. use like perception, discerning kind of thing to figure out like what's going on with him? Because you just... can tell something's clearly wrong. Like yeah. he got a glint in his eye as he was feeding. Okay, so I don't need to roll for that. And then like ran. Yeah. And he looked like he was getting more monstrous. Now you get to see what happens when you lose control. <laughs> and this should be a lesson. I've already done that once. 
Oh, well, you probably didn't see that. Did you see that? You probably saw... Well, you hated those people. These aren't <laughs> those... <laughs> This well, is just a family. you're not a hundred years old, so it probably wasn't as it wasn't, bad yeah. as it could be. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is it a six? Yeah. Yep. Six, yeah. I got a success. A success. Ooh. Single success? I got two successes. Oh, two. Great. You still feel that? You still feel that pressure building up? Hey, Broody. Like you could just fill up. You get 10 seconds, though. Not real, just in game. To control yourself. That decide what you do. What's up? What's happening? What you still hungry or something? You're briefly yourself here again before you have to worry about the beast. Mr. 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 Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Yeah, I um, burst out the window and I start to smell for something else that isn't a human to. Uh, I'm not, I'm not mine. Like a animal or something? The animal or... Go ahead and roll me. Wits alertness. If you're, lo- Are you looking for that in particular? Because if you are, it's wits awareness instead, and I'll let you find something of that sort of nature. Tell me what you're what you're looking for. I guess, Condi, don't don't listen to this, and, I'll, and it might be harder or easier. You want me to, like, plug my ears? Yeah. Um, Chris, do you want to look for a vampire? I don't want to, uh, not not while he's around, because okay. that could be dangerous. Okay. So what are you looking for, then? I guess in probably like an animal, even even like a fucking supernatural animal would pass. Like anything that is not the blood of a human, like the scent of a human. Just to feel the hunger. Anim- the you, tell me animal or supernatural. Animal or supernatural. Can I just say both? Kind of determines what you're rolling here. Because with my blood pool, I sh- I'm, not, I'm no longer hungry. I'm just, um, like with my amount of blood right but in order to stop the frenzy i have to feed the hunter you have to get two, you have to get two more successes okay 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 you're at so, three i would say not supernatural because okay. he's the closest supernatural so it wouldn't make any sense roll, roll wits plus alertness four successes you have a couple options you see a couple rats skitter by you see a pigeon uh perched up on a lamppost and you see someone walking their small dog down the street <laughs> <laughs> And then I need you to make another frenzy check. Just one success. Just one success? Just okay. one success. All right. I'm going to say for the sake of brevity here, just roll me one more. Wow. You're just looking for one success here. That's all you need. Three successes. Nice. All right. There we go. You look at this pigeon and then this rat and then this dog and then shake your head. What the fuck am I thinking of right now? Why am I going to Why am I gonna eat this bird? I, honestly, if I failed that, I was going to go after the, one, the person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. And, so I might uh, even like start creeping that way, and then yeah, yep, yeah. you creep that way, and then you snap back to your senses. Hey, you see Arthur pull out a little book, brood. Just like stand there on the night sidewalk. You in there? Yes. What's up? And did you learn anything? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked in there and sucked the blood. I mean, it wasn't hard. A little unconventional. Oh, it was easy. What about you? Did you learn anything? <laughs> <laughs> How many more spots do you have on this uh, road? Uh, I pull out a notebook. Yep. And for real. I pull my notebook back in my pocket after reading through the first few pages. How many spots would you have? You want to roll for it? Yeah. So how long you've been doing this for? This is like what your fourth night. Yeah. And uh, most of the other targets I've focused are just fangs. So not really like. Probably wouldn't have more than. Want to do like one or larceny? Just larceny. Just roll larceny, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. How about this? Um. Why don't you roll me wits plus larceny? Wits plus larceny. Yep. Yeah, that was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nine and a one. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> You infected zero houses and just pulled this one out of your ass. We can just like go for a random one though. It's never like they, these fucking idiots always like display their security company out front, so you know it's not alarm <laughs> when uh when it doesn't have the sign. No, I I think we may have wasted too much time. You sure? I mean, you're not looking you're looking a little pale. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm always pale. <laughs> yeah. It's like a joke might have heard of this. <laughs> what are you guys doing now? You're just here on the street watching this woman walk her dog. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will show you how I prefer to handle it. Okay, sure. Tonight, we um, Fuck handle shit up. your wardrobe. Oh, 
situation, um, fix this malfunction, and get you ready for the... Hey, I like what I wear, thank you. I think it's rather... Vampire society. What do you think they wear in a vampire club, huh? What, black suit? You guys were not told. You don't know? Fucking what, you guys like masquerades? Maybe it's a masquerade in there. Maybe we need some masks. How astute of you. Maybe you do have some intelligence. (laughs) Otherwise, I think we can wear whatever the hell we want. After all, our sickly Victorian child is in there. He's probably getting his clothes taken care of. All right, I'm back in the car. Yep. Fashion montage. (laughs) Yeah, can we fashion montage? Yes, we can. What do you guys want to look like? What are you dressing up as? Where are you going? I totally have like a black and red cape. (laughs) You guys speed off <laughs> into the dark back streets, going towards the center of Los Angeles. Where are you hitting up? What are your fits? Hot Topic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you go to Hot Topic. SpongeBob shirt. Okay, nice. What else? <laughs> Black Red Cave. Great. Anything else? Uh, Pants? Cargo shorts. <laughs> <laughs> anything hair? Anything hair? Oh, anything hair. Yep. Yeah, long black wig. Okay, long black wig. Uh, shoes? Shoes? Sandals. Great. Socks. Arthur? <laughs> so, you remember that. You're wearing a Hot Topic Spongebob shirt. He's got, like, a grill and, like, fucking money between his fingers. Sandy Cheeks is, like, fucking, like, spread out. <laughs> this, this, is, this is your chance to be though before. Red and black cape. No, this is happening. Red and black cape, cargo shorts, socks and sandals. Arthur, what about you? Also a mask. Some kind of mask. Also, you've got some kind of mask. What kind of mask do you want to do? Like, one of those like Halloween ones that goes over the full thing. Okay, you like a Freddy Krueger mask? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have a Freddy Krueger mask. All right. Beautiful. It's like it's like the plastic one that also has like the skin kind of thing over it, so you really can't tell who I am. Oh, I see. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, great. I... <laughs> he comes back in this? Yeah. Like, in the mall? Yeah, he does. And hey, I'm on... I'm, first of all, have these I bought what I open. could afford. You know, you still haven't given me a $500 back. I just look at his outfit and yeah. I'm like... I like the narrative that Hot Topic, uh, vampires keep it open. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny. <laughs> See a bunch of other ones shopping in there. I'm just going to shake my head like very slowly in disappointment and disappointment, disapproval, not yeah. say a word. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to uh, smash cut to like a really oh. fancy store. I don't know, like Vampire Gucci or whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're in the Vampire we're Gucci. Vampire Mall of America. <laughs> I'm just going to force us both into like, you know... Uh, Sort of like ballroom masquerade suit and tie, one that fits his colors. So like, I'm just gonna throw him like a a, a, a very like deep blood red suit, great uh, with a, a like a, like a black undershirt and a red tie at him. This is like old fashioned too. It's just like uh, like what you'd wear to a very fancy dinner, okay, very cool. fancy uh, yeah, good stuff club or whatever. I'm going to do my like what I'm already wearing, but I'm just gonna like. Like close it, uh, and then find like a uh, patchwork vest that has like a bit of um, you know, like satin filigree or something, and then find a mask that fits kind of like like a like a Batman shaped mask. Almost, okay, all right. Like just like just like the visor of the eye. Sure, like the eye mask. Yeah. Um, okay. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, and then okay. I'll keep it with us just in case we don't need mask. I'm not gonna wear it to it. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I'll just it'll just be kind of modern fancy clothing and then I'll give them all of his $500 <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah totally uh, uh, yeah you, you can get away with that there goes all your money fuck <laughs> cool yeah you guys are looking there are still so many drugs I'll be wearing snakeskin boots just to make the followers of set upset oh fuck oh, yeah sure that's rough sure 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 yeah, um, that's fun alright love that love that love that uh, uh, where are you guys going now let's see here Um. yeah I look a little disgruntled to be in this prepping anything Very uncomfortable else? now, what, what, now what I'm going to do is I'm hoping that we're getting that earlier before it actually starts, before people arrive. I'm going to search for the uniform Magnus left me. Actually, while we're on the way, I'd like to talk to you. <sighs> hey, so, what's the deal with uh, Slayers? Slayers? I feel like if we're going to go in there tonight, I should probably know the whole story. All the windows rolled up? Yeah. Somehow, is that Silver Cat nearby? <laughs> you could look if you want. I will. Sure. <laughs> before I answer him. It's going to be... Perception plus awareness. And also, you know, not really fond of calling you Brood, if you want to give me your name eventually. You still have not done anything to earn this, um... Okay, yeah. 
Six successes for that one. Six successes. Nice. Love being the most perceptive boy. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you kind of look around and then you look up in the car and you roll back the sunroof and you see the bottom of this gray cat. <laughs> Just all the car. Until you deal with this cat problem of yours, I cannot talk to you about anything. <laughs> What's... Pepper. <laughs> what are you I'm doing sorry. up there? Cat just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> you guys are like cruising down the fucking yeah, highway. Like, let me like. I'm clearly playing I favorites with my beautiful cat. <laughs> uh, here, slow down in the car. I'll Does like, it just float? It's just on the. No, it's just on the car. He opens the sunroof. Oh, you open the sunroof? Yeah, yeah. Here, pull uh, over. Pull over. Okay. If this this is such an issue here, you guys just cat. You're you're driving, so. Yep. Yeah. yeah, oh, you, yeah. You, you you pull over. Um, uh, open up the sunroof. Uh, you see the cat kind of looks down. I um, I I really grab her and give her some pets. You try to grab her? Yeah, yeah. Kay. Like I, I just like pull her down and pet her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You try to pull her like down, and it just feels like you're trying to move a fucking like uh, just like a rock. Like you just can't do it. And then she kind of looks at you curiously and hops down and just sort of sits in your lap. Uh, good girl. Uh, I, I, I try to stand up. I can't. <laughs> I open the door. Uh, okay, you open the door. Uh, good thing I always keep cat treats on me, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh- I shake them and throw them out of the okay, door. Okay, all right, you shake them and throw them out the door? <laughs> well, if we can do that, good thing I always keep my dispel vampiric magic on me. All right, so here's what we're going to do for the fucking cat treat thing. I don't know, I think it's, like, reasonable. This is like his favorite cat. <laughs> this is his favorite cat. You kind of just see this cat. You don't really interact with this cat. I, I don't know. It's just like it's just like around the shop. You're also going to a fancy dinner party. All right. How about this? Roll me a D10, <laughs> nine Dude, or ten. It you is have cat treats. Suspiciously following you everywhere That's now. That's a six. It's a six. You do not have cat treats. Damn. And if you did, uh, I was I gonna roll them. to see if Foy jumped out for them too. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Never mind. I forgot them at home. Uh, <laughs> hey, kitty, get off my. <clears throat> cat just kind of curls up. Fuck. <laughs> What is wrong with this cat? What the hell? Pepper. Are you, are you understanding yet? You're so fucking heavy. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I give her pets. Cool. <laughs> are you allergic? I'm just really allergic to cats. <laughs> you see as uh, this, this gray cat looks up at you, sees that you have sneezed, and walks over, steps out of the car door and onto the sidewalk and just kind of watches you both flicking its tail back drive and forth. Drive <laughs> Okay, go for it. Yep. Yeah, drive. Yep. Uh, you shut the door. There we go. Again. Faking, faking allergies always works. <laughs> okay, I, keep, I kept sneeze. an eye on it. Is it still around? Uh, yeah, you, you keep an eye on where it is. I mean, with that, with that roll, you watch it sort of vanish into the distance behind you, and you uh, sort of look up in the rearview mirror, and it's like you go down a corner, and it's like at the top of a rooftop. You're like, what the fuck? And then you turn another corner, it's like in a windowsill. <laughs> it's like there's like hundreds of them almost. But every time one leaves your sight, it's not long before something one of them re-enters okay so like cat problem solved or nope still <laughs> following us <laughs> what do you mean where you guys go okay well anything i should look out for at least just uh, get anything you know i'm also putting my neck on the line here for win at the club tonight yeah as the prince told you vampires are weak to fire the second you see it you might run immediately Whatever you do, do not come in contact. Joke's on them, I'm an arsonist. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, oh, this kid's really going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A wooden stake won't kill you, but it will paralyze you and make you easier to kill. Okay. Vampires are not our friends tonight. Not even me to you. So just keep an eye on your back. And remember, my goal is to exit safely with Prince Shiloh. Most people are going to use your curiously identical relative for their own gain. And if this cat happens to be the queen, or someone who just works for the queen, well, either way, if the two of you are together, and you are with me, they won't get used for the wrong reasons. All right. And then you guys, uh, you're just about getting here now, pulling up same street as you were before, Club Crepuscule. You see two bouncers. They look different this time. Thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. And uh, what do you do? <laughs> It'd be really awesome, actually, if you saw, like, Deacon and Shiloh going in at this point. Just, like, th- their backs as they enter the you door. Would, you would not. Damn you it. Not. <laughs> I used my awesome senses to find that uniform. Oh, you went back to the BB? Try to do that? No, no. I thought that was at the, like, the uniform was left Wherever at. Wherever he would have left it. 
the the club or near the club. I don't know where he would. What it, I said, just take advantage of the day. Uh, yeah. So, all right. If he left it at the B and B, we would have grabbed it. Before you, he left. Yeah, you just have it. You don't have to roll. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you, you you just found it. Uh, I like that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to bounce. think where he would have hit it just for just for shits. Out, on the bed, right outside the closet. <laughs> just just right there. <laughs> Sleep like a normal person. Lol. I, I, I hit it in the closet. Then we just walk right up to the bouncers. I pull out an invitation, but before I hand it to them, I ask. Okay. No, nope, I don't ask anything actually. I just hand them the invitation. They just give you a nod, and they hold out their hands, and you're free to walk in. I push him in front of me first. Yeah, and as he as okay. just, as fucking the weasel walks in, a kind of like a grin kind of takes his face. All right, he's very excited. Grin takes your face as. The light begins to pulse inside here, the reds and purples. And now we're gonna go over to Shiloh. Oh, Shiloh. Ew. Fuck, dude, that is awesome. Is there anything you wanna do, Shiloh, before you go to bed, or are you just locking it? No, I'm going to close the, okay. the pillow fortress on top of me. Wow, excellent, okay. And the day goes by. You're unaware of it. How well do you sleep here in a bathtub? Probably not very. You are very, a bath Roy, but this is not, not where you no, were meant to be. Not, no, bath not meant to be. No, 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 no. Get Roy out of the bath. <laughs> okay, you just sleep all right. Eventually, you wake up. You slide the mattress off of the bathtub. <laughs> sort of sit up, a little short of breath. And you might have some time here. What do you do? All right, I will get up and kind of look around the apartment or hotel room or wherever I am. Yep, yep. I mean, it just looks like this absolutely beautiful penthouse apartment. It looks like it's maintained pretty well right. for kind of guests of honor like this. There's, I was gonna say snacks and drinks, but there wouldn't be because they would just throw them up. Right. You know, they've got they've got pretty much all the amenities in here that you could you could ask for in terms of comfort. And it looks like they have the vampire equivalent of room service. <laughs> like a like a cart or it's just a little button that says blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to um I guess press the blood button. You sure? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just asking in, in my face. Alright, yes. Okay, press the blood button. You wait. A little bit. 20, 30 minutes. It's a bit slow here. Nothing like the castle. Door opens up. Two guys walk in. Wait, Black body I know bag. what you're trying to do. Please, oh, please, oh, hey, please man. stop. No, oh, good to see you. Please, before you go, can... You remember can I, me? I remember you, Craig. Nice. Yes, please. Just for a second, can I... And I go want to go up to one of the guys yeah. in the suits. Yep. Are, is this the only way you're supposed to bring bring blood to, to people? Is there not like we like can a, we can do it in any any way you request, sir? Could you like? I look down at Craig. Uh huh. Look up at him. Could you like put it in like a cup, or a, a chalice, as you wish, or something? He walks over to the cabinet inside the penthouse. Craig is just grinning the whole time. It's crazy we're here again. I mean, Craig, I, I'm so glad to see you again. How are you doing? You look great. You really do. You you look fantastic. I, 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 and I appreciate that. Oh, man. It's good to see you, too. I don't know if I actually caught your name, but it's, oh, it's just... Shiloh. Oh, Shiloh. Oh, Shiloh? Nice. Yeah, Craig. Mine's, uh, mine's Craig. Craig. Ow! Fuck! Um, as they as they cut into him and basically let his blood um, drain down uh, into uh, this pretty nice wine glass for yeah. you. Shiloh kind of, like, winces away. Yeah. No, that's all right, Craig. Don't uh, worry about no, it. That's, it is all right. It's completely it is all right. fine. It's completely normal. Yeah, I don't know. Worry. You don't have to say it. I got you. Yeah, Craig's you're, got you. You're perfectly fine. Craig kind of points up at you, flicks some blood that just goes like splattering on you. Know when it's over. Okay. Craig's on the case. All right. I kind of like peek through my hands. Yeah. Is there still, is this still happening? He's bleeding. Actively? Yeah. I kind of just like <laughs> keep my eye away from that. But there's the, there's the glass knife. Right. I'll, I'll take that. They kind of set out some stuff so it doesn't like stain or, or cool. get anywhere. All right. right. Yeah, I'll take the chalice and I'll, and I'll cool. drink on it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Craig. This is very nice of you. I'm, I'd like to give you something. I feel like I've taken something from you. I, I could probably No, it's give okay. You I mean, this back. is just how we usually do it, right? Right. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, I'm I guess. You understand. You, yeah, I mean, it would be kind of sweet, 
you know, if you got me something every once in a while, but it's fine. Sure. I'm, I'm, what would you like? I don't know what your, your interests are. Um, well, I'm feeling kind of faint. So maybe like f- <laughs> <laughs> passes out. Right. He'll wake up, right? Do you want him to, sir? Um, just probably get him out of here, maybe. That we can do. I don't want to. You can take as many blood points as you want. Bye, Craig. Up to 10. Up to 10 on top of or on, up to 10 total? Up to 10 total. Well, then I'm taking all 10, You're maybe. taking all 10? Okay. <laughs> you, uh, you, you take a few more refills of this glass as Craig kind of looks worse and worse for wear. I wouldn't look at Craig. I don't want to look. I don't want to cool. see. Okay. Okay. Do you basically just let them fill it up for you then? Yeah. I would okay. let them fill it up and I'll probably just sit at a window continuing in my little sketchbook. Good. And anytime I would like more, just kind of hold up the glass. It's the easy chalice. enough. It's right on command. Uh, just gets basically picked up, brought over, filled up, brought over. And eventually... They do say, well, uh, we do offer buffet style, uh, or is that all for tonight? Buffet style? What are you talking about? Would you like to find out? Well, you could probably just tell me. I don't need to see it for myself. I, we, just, could... we, we like to keep some air of mystery. I mean, it's, we just bring in a bunch of uh, bunch of other people and just Lord, let you no, take your God, Please don't do that. Well, will that be all then? Next time, please don't bring them in here. I don't want to... Just the glass then? Just the glass, please. Very well. And, don't, and make sure Craig maybe like... It's okay. He's just completely silent. Yeah, right. he's that, he's he's in a. That will be all. That he's in a be better all. place. Thank you. Um, have a good night. These guys walk out, and you hear them just like thumping Craig against the door. Shoot, man, just turn up a little. Um, Bye, Craig. I'll see you later. Walk about no response. Um, uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, is this just spag sloshes out? Horrible, horrible. Uh, horrible. You're here alone now with your sketchbook, all full. This chalice of blood. Before long. You hear a knock again at your door. I'll go over and open cool. it myself. It's Deacon. You see him in his, his wide brim hat. You see he's wearing a bit fancier clothes than usual. You know, he's still got that sort of leather jacket on over him. He's got appearances to, to maintain, and he's twiddling something kind of between his fingers. Hey, good night there. Right. Deacon, how are you? Doing all right. How'd you sleep? Bed treat you nicely? What? I would like to ask you a couple of questions. First of all, Shoot. what is... That there. Like, why I bring him to the bathroom yeah. and I point at the mattress. Why was that? Why were all of the pillows on there? Oh, man. And also, where is the coffin? I could not find it, so I made my own. What, did you sleep on the bathtub? Well, sure, I guess. Oh, no, it looks like it you looks, slept it's more in, like in, slept in the bathtub. Like a coffin. Um, yeah, so here, if you're sleeping in a coffin, people are probably going to find out pretty quick what you are. Oh, no. Which is a vampire. Are there people in here looking at the way I sleep? Not in here, it's but... kind of weird. It's best to maintain appearances when you can, my prince. Okay. How does this appear to you? Does this appear all right? Can I sleep here? Oh, man. I mean, um, if you if that's really what tickles your fancy, well, but... Better um, than uh, just t- sitting well, on this big here. spring thing. No, check this out. Check this out. Hear me out on this. And he kind of drags the mattress over, plops it on the bed and sort of uh, dresses it up a little. All right, I know your first inclination, and it's going to be, how does it open? Where do I crawl inside? Right. As if I was a human that had died. Right. And then how do I get up like I was rising from they, the grave? They put the human, like, <laughs> that is what casket, that have died? They that go is in what there? caskets are. That what, is what coffins what, and, are, and is coffins what, what are for dead them? people. And then they put them in the ground. They're, they just stay there? Yeah. Ruin the coffin? Never get up. Waste of good coffins, so I think. That is totally strange. Waste. Why did just dig the hole Which and put why them in? They invented these mattress. 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 Go ahead and uh, give that. Give that a little squish. Give that a little sit. All right. I walk over to the mattress and I like. That's hey. I'll okay. have you know that is a tempered pedic right there. I start to like <laughs> dig at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like kind of like the ter- me- it's like, like memory foam. Like you dig at it and then it like shifts back to where it was. What are? Yep. I don't I, know what it's tempered they're by. They're moving. They are moving at me. The tempers. Uh, the oh, tempers are oh, moving. That, at that me. one's that one's got quite they're a not- temper. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Well, well. Look, look at this. Look at it. No, because it tempers to you. So you lie tempers down in it. Me. Try it out. Just jump up and then just lie down. Just lie down in it. Full okay. straight lying right. down. I get in. I lie down. Just kind of like put my arms across my chest. Put your arms across your chest. And you start to kind of like sing slowly in, and you feel this is like the most comfortable 
lying down you've ever been. The coffin is just like a wood backing with cushion, oh. right? But this is like actually meant for people to sleep on. This is like on all of them sleep like this? It's good. Well, not all of them. This is kind of great. Pretty good, right? But I feel like a little like exposed. Well, I think the most exposed you could be is probably sleeping in a coffin in LA. As well, I mean, more to... like they like there's like nothing physically on top of me. Oh, here, <laughs> let me help you with that. He pulls out a blanket and puts Does it over you me in? and tucks you in. How's that? How's that treating you? That's very like. A... It's called it's called tucking you in. Tucking me in. Yeah. I've never, I heard that. Never been tucked. You've so never been warm and you've like... never been tucked in. This is so warm, and the pillows are not, like, there's not board underneath them. I feel, no, I it's I just feel. pillow. Maybe does feather, this, maybe Does this maybe also pillow? give splinters? No, that's just the frame. This is all soft. All know. that all that pedic I was telling so you So I can about. rub my, my hand across this, you and I will not, it will all not over, like, splinter all into and me? Check, and check this out as well. Check this out as well, because I'm just looking at your neck angle there. I call this the double pillow Deacon special. You see, he lifts up your head, puts a second pillow under it, puts your head back down. All right, that is crazy. That's that just great? crazy. It's that like that more can, neck support that than be... you ever knew. Can't be legal, right? Better. No. I that don't think it can problem. be legal. I'm that, no, I, how are the mortals living like this and I am in a little box? This is crazy. I actually don't think they should be allowed to double No, pillow. we should take You this. see, he pulls out a notebook, he makes a note. <laughs> we take that. I would like. All right. You want some? You can take some with you if you want. Mm, I'm just trying to make a note of this. What did you say this was called? Tempered Pedic. Tempered Pedic. Right. right. Thank you, Deacon. He kind of gets up. All right, so where are my clothes? Uh, wait, what are you in right now? My same kind of get up. Oh, I see. Anya, what do you mean? We are going to like a party or, uh, or something. Oh, right? yeah. Like I'm nice, nice mind. You're thinking ahead there. Well, to get clothes, right? It would be good. Are they not like coming? Oh, I was actually thinking maybe we could take you around town and you could pick out your own. You're going to take me around town to look at things? Take you around town to look at clothes, that's right. Do you know if there are pheasants local to this place? Um, Never mind, we will, looks we will out, find He them. looks outside, he looks outside, uh, sees a pigeon just like pecking at like the window. Yeah, I think that's, what did you say, pigeon? Pheasant. Pigeon. Pheasant. Right, yeah, there's one right that, there. That there is a pigeon, that's not a pheasant. Pheasant? Don't, we'll, we'll look for them. Don't worry. All right. All right. What do I want to see first? I want to see this this wood sign. It's very, I've heard it is very holly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we can make that happen for you. But first, and he pulls out the thing that he's been twirling around in his hand and says, I was thinking on it a little while I slept last night. And I figured, even though you're the prince, you have the protection of the queen, that's pretty much everything you need and more that it could help to have some local protection as well and some local status. And right. It gives you a little badge, golden badge, that says deputy on it. I'm a, de I'm a hero? I am a deputy? You're a hero. You help keep the law. All right, okay. That's good, right? Do I need right? any kind of training or I can just go? No, it's just that easy. Holy crap, being we, a cop is awesome. I know, right? And really easy. Pretty much no They let training. anybody do this, Just huh? put them out on the street. That's crazy. So I can just like walk up to people and like, Tell what to do? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Wow. What are they going to do? You know? Aha. I like this, Deacon. I like this, too. This is nice. All well, right. let's give you a proper tour of L.A. and get you some threads. Have you perhaps told my mother about what we're doing here? Uh, you look at him? He looks around. Shallow, I don't know how much you know about how it works out here. But there's not really a lot of easy ways to get in touch with your mother. I've put some fingers in a lot of pies to try and find one. There are not like big shadow doors that you just kind of walk through and then they bring you to this I've, crazy I've, like I've castle? Heard of, I've heard of such a thing, but they're not just lying around, no. There's usually someone that controls them. Well, or can at least help. Well, I mean, you're, you're a very, very capable person. You could probably just take care of me and the queen will think that you are great for keeping me here for a while and you know you give me what i'm looking for it's just a little exploration and then yeah take it, me is back. that is that all you want you just want to see the sets smell the sounds hear the colors i i don't know what i want i've not had Taste a chance the rain, to look at it eat the mud eat the mud eat the mud i would put the mud in try my it, mouth try out the mud i'll try out the mud i, I don't know i 
I'll have to try this mud. Oh, sorry, I meant blood. Mud's like dirt, but wet. Uh, well, now I now you've got me all excited for the mud. Well, we can try some mud on the we'll way. Try the mud. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get a move on, and we cut over to you guys in the back of the car again, driven by the same chauffeur as before. This definitely not legally tinted windows awesome. uh, basically cruising through the streets um, as you're looking down you can have the window rolled down or up whatever you like well just let the driver know we got a couple a uh, couple hours to kill here before uh, before Elysium just let me know if you see anything you want to stop at or any trouble deputy can we do like a montage of going to places absolutely all right <clears throat> oh shit you see as he has kind of put aside like some clothes too that okay. he that he plans on wearing. Um, you see, he has another cowboy hat that looks like it has an LED strip around the bottom of it. Um, and you see that he has like a pair of sunglasses, like literal party shades that have like the fucking <laughs> lines. Where do you want to go, though? You go anywhere in LA you want. All right. The first place we're going to go is is this Los Angeles Museum of Art. There's like this place with all these light posts that I found, and I want to just be like walking through all of them. <laughs> it's just a shot of Shiloh like walking through all these light posts and touching all of them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, these just rows and rows of light posts. Wow, that's a lot of light posts. Got a smash cut over to <laughs> us walking down Rodeo Drive. Yep. Just kind of looking at all of the things, and I'm like, walking past a, a person that's kind of dressed like a vampire and I look at them and I look up at Deacon. <laughs> he he looks over at you, looks up towards a storefront nearby that says Hot Topic, looks back at you and shakes his head. <laughs> uh, cuts over to a casino and I'm sitting in front of a slot machine just kind of like tapping it. <laughs> this light box is broken. No, hear me out. You gotta hit that uh, lever thing over there. Pull it. Yep. And the it, like, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Okay. I'm gonna roll three dice. Tell me it's seven, seven, seven. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll three dice, and I'm gonna tell you what they come up. Okay. If you get all three matching, it's great. Two, nine, ten. Deacon goes. God damn it! I look angry at it, yeah. and I look up at Deacon. Another one. And I pull it again, <laughs> and we cut over to the Hollywood sign, and I'm just kind of looking up at it. Yeah. Don't. I don't get what's so holly about it. Well. Holly, right? Not holy. Might be holy. I hope it's not holy. If one of those L's falls. I think we're all done for. I I look up at it, like a. Do you think this is a holy symbol? I mean, only one way to find out. And we cut over to you guys, on top of the Hollywood side, <laughs> as he has like someone back in the in behind the scenes to let you guys in. That's awesome. You okay. know, I actually know the person who's responsible for all of the vampire media these mortals are watching. And who is that? Uh, her name's Mary, Mary Davis. She lives here, too. That's great. Can yep. we meet this Mary Davis? She might be there tonight, actually. All right, all right, let's meet this. Let's meet her. This would be fantastic. Yep, just a cool little deacon fact. Anywhere else you want to go? One more place. I've heard about it in the book. You don't mean. I mean. Smash cut over, and we are on the Venice Beach boardwalk. And there's like all those like sounds and that little ride going. Yeah, All the that's music iconic. is completely cut and I'm just standing there right in front of a hot dog stand. <laughs> I've heard of these hot dogs. I would Shall like it. to see them. I don't know if you're gonna feel good after one of those porkies. I'm not sure, but I feel like I have to see Are at you least sure one hot this? dog. <sighs> all right. Walk up. Yep. And Shiloh's pretty short, so he's just kind of okay. looking up over this little thing. Hello, um, could I please have one of your hottest dogs? Hey, Weird Sicko, yeah, sure. Weird Sicko, okay. You want the cheese one, beef one, turkey one, pork oh, one? Please don't put any cheese bean on one? the dog. I'd rather bean just dog, see him. dog, chili cheese, chili cheese dog, bacon dog. You're putting... Bacon chili cheese? these, like, breeds of dog? Do you want small? You want large? Or a, a, probably a smaller one. Pound? I don't know pound? if I could handle a, a bigger one. Probably pound, pound, hound dog, hound sure, dog, pound sure, dog, bacon, sure. bacon, cheese, beans. Which that one? All, which which, which one? What do you have? There's people behind you. What do you have? You're very much overwhelming me. I'll take all of it. <laughs> so one of one of each. Sure. Okay. Um, I look back at Deacon. I just like thumbs up. <laughs> he gives you like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this guy takes a bit. 
and brings out a huge just tray of every imaginable hot dog. <laughs> I, I put them all in my hands and I walk back over to Deacon holding all of them. I think I may have misunderstood. Yep, I think you got one of each there, bud. What you gonna start with? I look down at the chili dog <laughs> and I gotta take a bite. <laughs> you know what? You know what's crazy? What's that? You gotta take a bite of this chili dog. And you whoop, chomp into it. And it tastes good. You can taste the sort of fluffy bread on your tongue first, and then the juice as it pops out of this pork. And then that tangy, tangy cheese, not like anything you've ever had. You should do ads for hot dogs. Arby's. <laughs> We've got them. We've got the dogs. <laughs> We've got the dogs. <laughs> Finally, that chili. Even more beef, even more beans, but somehow adding to that initial beef. Ooh. It's beef-tastic, and you swallow it down. This is pretty good, Deacon. I don't know. Would you like to try some? No, uh, I'm actually... Well, how'd you do that? So you're talking about... You're I, throw I up, just put it in my mouth later. and I start to chew. Throw up later? I've yeah. never had anything like this before. Yeah, but, I mean... Oh. This one has onions and liver. Okay, maybe, uh, no garlic though, right? No oh, garlic. Do any of these have garlic? All of them except the plain one do. I need, okay, so here's the thing. I need to make a willpower roll right now, and if I fail, oh, I have to flee. I have to run. I have to run. I have to run away. Oh, shit. Make right. a willpower roll. Roll willpower. Roll willpower. Difficulty, I'm going to say is nine, because you are currently, there is, you all you have around you is garlic. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not actually it. That's not a thing. Botch. <laughs> <laughs> you botch? Okay. Yeah. You immediately throw all of the hot dogs up in the air as they go scattering everywhere and start hissing at the sky as they start falling down. <laughs> and then you just like impulsively try to get away. You start digging at the ground to try and get through it. And then you run off the boardwalk, jump into the sand, look around, create a hole, and just start throwing up into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the view is from, from the boardwalk though, so it's like very far away, you just hear <laughs> They are trying to kill me, they got to watch us out! Oh, he just turns to some people, uh, make sure no one uh, ever thinks about that. <laughs> and finally, uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? No. No. <laughs> so fucking funny. That is all the things I was um, looking for. In that case, we cut back to you guys in the car, but like the mood is noticeably down. <laughs> you're like, like you're like still looking pretty, over. pretty ill. The, for the first time, Shiloh's posture is not like perfect. Yeah. Uh, you sure you up for this party tonight? I will be. All right. You down those dogs, feller. They came right back up. It is okay. Yep, we saw. We saw. I mean, they well, taste it so very good, but then as soon as I put it, it's so very bad. Yep, I'm so, bad. I probably should have checked the menu. I didn't realize you were. Uh, I've never thrown up before. Why does things taste good going down, but not very good coming garlic, back garlic's up? Garlic's got that extra spice. It for is some the vampires. same thing, right? It is the same thing coming back up. Why no, does it's it taste a little like different garbage when it comes back evil? up? Yeah, no, I think it just churns around there and gets worse. Churning, I hate churning. Yeah. This is, I stick with. This is why I stick with blood. I will probably do the same. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, here we are. You guys get out of the car. Wait, um, Deacon, before you... Oh, yeah, what's before up? you step out, why are you being so... Are you being so nice to me just because my mother is the queen, or...? Prince, usually this doesn't fall too close to my jurisdiction. I really just maintain things around here. Make sure that no one gets in too much trouble. Yeah. And... You got in a lot of trouble, so... Right, I know, I'm sorry. But you're an important person. You're a special person, and that means we gotta use our best to look after you. Right, but, you know, we had a lot of fun today. I guess I just wonder if we would have also had this much fun if you, if I was just another vampire walking around. Well, if you were just another vampire, you wouldn't be shallow, would you? Think about who you are, all those experiences, what made you you? Oh, yeah, no, probably not. Well, then you wouldn't be the same person. Oh, I... But I'm glad that I got to hang with this, Shiloh. Thank you, I'm... 
No one has ever been so nice to me. I, I appreciate it. Anytime, but I can't say it'll be the same in there. How do you mean? Well, I'll be watching your back, but there's plenty of powerful vampires, Kindred, in there as well. I promise I'm not going to do any more, like, dominating. I, I'm not trying to do it. It just happens. Sometimes. No, I, I, I hear you. And it's good you don't, because it's not allowed in there, but it's not allowed as long as someone sees it. So someone might, just if anyone tries to get you with anything or is acting suspicious, you let me know and I'll take care of them. I'll bring it right to you. Or I'll handle it myself, because I'm a deputy, right? You are a deputy. I trust you with that. Gonna so, make an arrest. <laughs> you know what? Go for it. You get one free arrest. All right. <laughs> I'll just kind of get up and out. Cool. And as Shiloh steps out, he's once again, you know, after all the blood all over him and all of the yep. hardships of his first day in LA, he's stepping out, headed towards the club with his high heeled shoes, just kind of clicking, looking elegant. Yeah, you guys had to have, you guys had to redo the fashion montage because you covered it in sand and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're all good. You see uh, that Deacon leads you around past the main entrance and to a side entrance that kind of opens up as you guys approach as a red light emanates inside and you both walk inside Club Crepuscule. Now I will go get them. <laughs> yeah! Was that fun? Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, yeah.